What's going on, guys? Valentine's Day is around the corner, and you got to make sure your girl is happy when the pants come off. And if you don't have a girl and you got to pick one up, same thing, man. You want to make sure first impressions are as good as they can be. So you want to make sure you're trimmed up, prepped up, and everything looks and smells great. So I'm going to show you guys. Make sure you get to manscaped.com backslash RBP. Check this out. So the Performance Package 4.0 comes with the trimmer, the nose trimmer, the ball deodorant, and the ball toner. Now, also, if you go to products, you get all these awesome things. The boxers feel great. The t-shirts are comfortable. The travel bag is big, leather. It's nice, holds all your stuff. And they got all this other stuff, lip balm, uh, foot duster, cologne. They have a ton of stuff. They have body wash, shampoo. Uh, make sure your hygiene is good for Valentine's Day, man. You want to make sure after dinner and after drinks, when you're at home, everything is in line. So get to manscaped.com backslash RBP or use code RBP when checking out. Get 20% off plus free shipping. It's a great deal, guys. You're not going to get one better. So get to manscaped.com backslash RBP. Thanks, guys. Guys on time, kinda. I I was. Oh, here it here it comes. Yeah, I know. Would you beat no. up now? Did you gonna fight? I open my computer and realize I guess because I don't clean it that often and I laugh and scream during this ridiculous podcast that there's like saliva stains all over it. So I was cleaning it as you were texting me to hurry up. <laughs> can't you just can't you log on and then clean it? That would look ridiculous. We've done enough stuff on here that we shouldn't do live, like piss and throw up, but you don't need to see me clean my screen. And clip tone it. So so did you lose like 80 pounds or is that a 4XL? <laughs> I've actually gained weight. I'm like, that looks, I'm sure it looks huge. It's it's our new body bag collection. It's the oversized clothing. Yeah, that's the new one, huh? You like Perm that? Fucking yeah. per perma bulk, baby. It's right up my fucking alley. Look at that shit. Oh, beautiful. It's me bulk bulking all year round for the is rest that, of my life. Is this the crew? Because I'm kicking this off with a question because I got to know. But is, is, this, is there anybody else at coming to this? I don't know. I've had a question in my back pocket for like four days. I'm Jones and ass. For four days? Yes. <laughs> is this going to be a hot topic on the podcast? That, uh, yes, and I better all, be tagged watch, in every... All other podcasts and channels are going to pick it up because that's what happens every time we get Well, this, I want every debate. female to at least tag me in their answer. Okay, well, we have one more person logging on, so let's wait a minute. No, uh, then I'm logging off and coming back because they're not allowed to be... wait a minute. Here. <laughs> just wait a minute for one more person just no, i said i'm gonna log off and then log back on no so just stay happen. here for two minutes justin yes you're getting into the arnold's on thursday yeah i think so i just don't want to get there friday and be scrambling to like get in get into my airbnb and get food yeah. and get all set up and then trying to rush to the night show your face okay. is looking much fuller than the last time i saw you you look, you. You look as my mom would say you look healthy yeah, that's exactly what my mom tells me. Yeah, they learn after a little bit to like what words to tread on and what yeah. words to stay away from. They learn because in the beginning they won't say like, "Oh, you look like you gained weight." They'll word it yeah. differently and they'll use skinny. Uh, it's skinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah exa exactly. Let's um, see. Let's make fun of him until he can hear us. I can hear you, guy. I'm good this time. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Come on, later. Me and oh, be twice got, with it. yeah, Paul's got a new ring light. He's like, I, yeah. he told me the other day, he's like, I bought a ring light for the podcast. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. I have a ring light. Wait, can I tell them why you bought it though? I didn't buy it for it. Can I tell them? Can I tell them why you have it? Yeah, guy knows already. Guy, guy already knows. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to know. So Paul, Paul says to me, Paul reads the comments sometimes. Oh God! And he's not used to people roasting him. So somebody said that he looked really red or some shit. So he bought a light. He bought a ring light thinking it would make him look less red, but I think it's just going to make him look brighter. Wait, hold on. Ready for this? You want to know what's not going to make you look less red? My skin? Wearing a, wearing a bright white fucking shirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. I thought, <laughs> this... <laughs> he thought it would make him look lighter. He was about to say it. <laughs> what are you doing? Wear a different color. That's the worst color to wear. I, it makes me look a little younger, I think, though. Hey, hang on a second. I don't know how to use this thing. Yeah, but the gray beard doesn't make you look younger, so <laughs> kind of cancels each other out. <laughs> one second i don't want to use this one second just leave it off we don't, need we, have a tutorial. we don't need a fucking ring light what are you fucking justin yeah, yeah. What, are you, what are you me justin went out and bought a whole 
like gambit a fucking <laughs> made a whole studio yeah i already had this and this was for like my check-ins me and uh me and paul are getting into the arnold's on wednesday okay and then leaving monday guy are you going or what <laughs> what time when are you getting what day are you getting in i gotta fly to texas for gas and then we're taking an rv to tennessee and then to uh ohio that sounds amazing sitting in an rv Ugh. i want to go i was sitting in the rv with you just buggy the whole time i would just fucking duct tape you to the seat and then tape your mouth shut <laughs> I'll kick you off the RV. I'll just keep, I'll boot I'll you with you. Um, what are you, uh, seriously? So, when are you guys getting in then? If you're taking the RV, I'll be there Thursday and I got that bullfrog event. Oh, man. I want to go on the fucking gasp RV. This you're is not bullshit. Cool, I know I am cool enough. I have to commentate the fucking Arnold's. I have actual responsibilities. Stop saying the what Arnold's. Are gonna what are you going to say? What are you going to say? Did they call you and say, hey, screw it, keep saying the Arnold's? So, yeah. it fucking catches. Well, no, now I just say it because it bugs you. <laughs> Paul, do you ever say the Arnold's? Say the Arnold's plural. Yeah, right. Well, possessive, not plural. Maybe the Canadian thing. Maybe Justin, do you say Arnold's or Arnold? The Arnold's. Yeah, right. Arnold's. I no, I say I, I say Arnold, but you you have influenced me to start saying Arnold. Stop I, I, I say it's not a good influence. All no. right, so guy has some super question he's been holding on to for like four days. Wait, four it's days. more of a of, did you know? Because if you did, I'm gonna be four because I'm 39. I'll be 40 next month, and I did not know this happened. Okay, go ahead. There's something that girls do that I just found out, or uh, I found out a, one girl does, and she says all girls do it, and yeah. I go, I've never heard that in my entire life. They have orgasms. <laughs> I guy didn't know that. That's a myth. <laughs> you know girls will sometimes fucking taste themselves before they like hook up with a guy to make sure they taste good i've heard that i've never heard of that I've really? heard of a smell test maybe no like like finger vagina yeah. mouth yeah I've really heard yeah. you've heard that you've heard yeah. that friend? yeah Seriously. i was blown the fuck away when i heard that Listen, Me too. Man. Hey, it makes paul, sense paul i'm shocked that you haven't heard it working in a strip club i know but you're but i haven't i swear can you ask oh uh, you don't you don't work there anymore <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? Can you, can, you, can you ask the strippers? <laughs> Are they the well, ones that, wait, so that's a common thing because I was like blown away when I heard this. I was like, no way. I don't know if it's a common thing, but I've heard it before. That's all I'm saying. Maybe, oh, maybe uh, women, if the women are watching, could comment below if you don't mind telling. <laughs> me. If you don't mind you telling, us your vagina up, before I'm down. Deal. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Justin, can you say that again into the camera? Oh, do you taste your vagina before a big date? <laughs> <laughs> comment below comment. <laughs> i'm telling you we're gonna get some comments some girls will be honest about it anyway Can I them? why is that a turn on for you i yeah. just i just blew my fucking mind but is it but when you heard it were you like i'd like to meet a girl like that i i definitely wouldn't kick her out of bed yeah that, that kind of be. it kind of scares me though well, well, because that, that well, is, but then you then you think that they might not smell good. No, yeah. I wasn't thinking that. Oh. If she's got a check, she's got a problem. No, I, I, I wasn't <laughs> yeah. thinking that. That's what I'm thinking. If the oil lights on, there's a problem. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> right. wait have you ever checked your balls? No, I I've checked my well, I've checked my balls. It's called Before. showering. Yeah, but I've showered and then I I fucking sweat a lot. So even if I shower and I like might perspire a little bit at dinner, I, I want to make sure. And what do you do? A courtesy wipe with like a wet wipe? Like, what do you do then? No, like a like a touch and check. <laughs> what do you do? Like a little scratch and sniff. Well, like, a scratch and, like a scratch and sniff. Yeah, yeah but what happens? What happens if this what happens if the scratch and sniff comes back not good? You, you don't put, I, put your balls put in there. Right? Then I probably won't have oral that night. Mm -hmm. uh, or put some big powder on. Yeah, or so you, would, so you would deny oral? I don't want to fucking put my wife through that shit. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I wasn't talking about just some. We're just talking in general. Well, I'm not talking about other girls. They're also getting trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I look married for 15 years. I know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not fresh. I'm not fucking asking for it. If you take that many showers a day and you still got to check your balls, you're gross. No, like sometimes, sometimes if I come home from the gym and I want some. I don't like I got to make sure I was still smelling pretty good even after the gym. But you wouldn't shower first? Well, I shower before the gym. So sometimes it's just clean sweat. Don't smell. I always shower before I have sex. Always? <laughs> pretty much. No, you fucking don't. Even, wait, even now. Well, at least within a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. No, you don't. 
So, I do. So you wake up and you go shower before you have like morning sex. You can't have morning sex. We got two little kids. What about before you had kids? Okay, that'll be a different story oh, for sure. Okay, now we figured it out. Wow, that was years ago. <laughs> that would you threw that away real quick. You're like, yeah. <laughs> That's when the scratch and sniff comes in handy. Is the have morning. You done, have you ever done a scratch and sniff, Paul? <laughs> I know I haven't smelled fresh before, but I haven't scratched it and sniffed it. You just knew. You just you smelled I, so bad you yeah. could already smell it coming up. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know it's time for a shower. He was like this. Whoa. <laughs> he, does the, he does the waft. Sum it up. <laughs> oh my god! Uh-huh. If you smell that bad that you could do this, <laughs> you need to shower. More. You need to shower more. Shower. Often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, like you know, so, there's been times where you know it's been a long day, whatever. And then I'll smell something, and I'll be like, "Is that me?" And then you know, I'll check it. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> yep, that's my balls. Yeah. I knew I smelled something. Man, yeah. Manscape use code RBP. Get the balls in your- <laughs> good time um, to plug it. That's such a good plug. So, a guy, you've never done a scratch and sniff ever. Uh, I, I, I'm not. I don't think I smell bad. But well, you, that's the problem. It's usually <laughs> people who don't think they smell bad to smell bad. Listen, I, if if the girl came back for seconds, I'll take it that she didn't smell bad. I didn't smell bad. No, that's not true. Yeah. Because because my wife, like, she wouldn't. If I wasn't like 100, percent she wouldn't tell me. But I would, if I found out later, like she's like, eh, you know, you weren't that fresh. That I would feel bad. She, does she tell you? Like, Brad, like, your 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 dick looks so stinky. <laughs> <laughs> you scrub that thing the next time. Dick sticks. I didn't want to say it, but <laughs> <laughs> got the old stank dick. Yeah, <laughs> Justin, you've never done a scratch and sniff. Oh no, I'm usually pretty aware if my balls are gonna stink. I don't think I need to sniff them, but but have you ever like, let's say you want sex after the gym? but you don't want to shower first. You just like, you're that, you're like horny. You want to go. I, I'm really that horny. Yeah. yeah I like a hooker. Well, you've never been that horny. Where you come <laughs> yeah, I've been that. <laughs> typically, typically I can rinse off real quick and, and, but no, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I ever, I don't know if I ever actually, so yeah, we've all done the scratches. We've all checked. We've all, wait a minute. You guys have never, situation. let's go back for a second. So post-workout, you guys have never done the, like, I got to have sex. I don't want, like, it's so, you guys have never had that urge, like it's so yes. much. Like I gotta go right now. I don't want to go. Yeah, but a lot up. of times, it's been with the girl I'm dating, and she was at the gym too, so it was just like mutual. Yeah. So it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah. No, yeah, it yeah. doesn't. It's like two gross fucking human beings slopping together. <laughs> yeah. I, I just usually, I just usually know I'm not getting head directly after the gym. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a given. <laughs> you know. But okay, let me ask you this question. Unless she's a real whore. <laughs> <laughs> do you like? Dirty whore. Do you like? Would you go down on your girl post workout? No. Post, post her workout as yeah. as like as like a meal. <laughs> post workout, <laughs> sprinkle some protein powder on it. <laughs> no, uh, no, I don't think so. No, yeah. depends yeah, on I what the workout was. I would. I dive. I dive in there. I mean, I totally would. One hundred percent. I'm fucking going head yeah. first. I mean, what if she did like an hour of cardio, Fred? I kind of like a little bit of like uh, I don't know. I hey. kind of like. A not, 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 no, no, not. Listen, I don't have it. I have no issues there. Like, I'm good. Like, my wife's good. But yeah. I'm saying, like, <laughs> I like. Uh, I, I, sometimes I like just post workout. It's like an animalistic. It's like you know we're both dirty. We're fucking getting just getting at it. I get like, that. I, I don't want to. Things are a little clammy and moist, and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to lube the gears to start the engine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Paul, you're Paul, you're super clean. You're like everything's. Uh, but, you know, I'm, like, I've been, a, you know, I've had kids for the last eleven years. So before that, it's kind of. That's a, why I would figure you would rush. To but get wouldn't it that in be? Yeah, but yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say what guy said. Wouldn't you no. rush to get it in? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta schedule it almost with two kids in the house. Yeah, well, you. So you fuck it up with a shower. Uh, well, I'll know. I'll know like tonight, eight o'clock, whatever. You know what I mean. So, so Tuesday, I'll take a shower around seven. And you got, and you ru- we ruined your sex time because you're on the podcast. So Tuesday, eight o'clock, you're like, I was, I wasn't gonna get nothing tonight, Fred. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So, okay, we can so spend when, some time tonight. So Wednesday, ten o'clock, you guys are gonna have sex. So nine thirty, you jump in the shower. Uh, yeah. Well, shortly before, yeah. Yeah. And she does too. Yeah. Okay. I like, I like it fresh. You actually yeah, have it. See, I thought. Like- so Sorry? you're like, this is What's like that, preparing Justin? dinner. <laughs> I feel you actually haven't planned out like that. Well, you have to with kids, man. Like it's just, you know, that's like your kids are still young. So, you know, they're home all the time. 
You can't so, just put them in a you know, smash? I don't understand. Nothing will ruin a boner quicker than hearing daddy out of the next room when you're trying to, you know. I can imagine. Tech sucks. But I also imagine that if I had kids, I would be like, fuck it, let's get it in whenever. You'd think so, Fuad, but like, no, nah, it ruins really? it for me. Really? Eh? It, maybe for you. I don't know. I, I know you. You're different. You mean like you mean like rushing or trying to hide it? Ruins it that you. that is part of it but also just the anxiety of like you're trying to you know you're into what you're doing and then you got your daughter in the next room like calling your name like and then kids don't have patience you know i could tell her to wait a minute but she won't but wait i have a question i'm so- fucking your mom <laughs> <laughs> no no wait so if they're sleeping sure what, you if, know, but- what if what if the anxiety like they're not calling her name yet or your you plan, game. but but like it's out of plan, and is there any anxiety? Yeah. Like you're sneaking. Yeah, that happens occasionally. That'll happen occasionally for sure. But it's it's not as I think it's it doesn't happen as spontaneously, you know. Because I think the sneaking around would be fun. Would be fun that's, for me. That's what I was gonna say. I feel like that the the well, okay, well, nature of that. Yeah, but like you, you know what my house is like, right? So we don't use our basement much. So we're always all of us are all together in the main floor. So when they hear mommy and daddy close the door behind them, they know we're doing something. And then they start knocking on the door or something stupid. Guy's got you know? his hand up. What are you? What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. Go ahead, guy. They sleep every night. Why can't you just do it after they fall asleep? I don't. Okay, know. that makes sense, right? Yeah, for sure. Logic, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, but it well, doesn't usually work out that way, guy. Well, I'm good for that, you know. But the wife's tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I just want to give you a hug. <laughs> She better not watch that food. You might have to cut I know. That I better cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't care. She cut it up. Oh, fuck. Anyway, what's going on, guys? So, Arnold, guy, yeah, you're going to be there Thursday. Are we doing anything together there? <clears throat> We're going to pose down. Is that what you're doing? Oh, guy's going to be there too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, guy's going to show up on Thursday. He's taking an RV. Yeah, they, they, Arnold called me to guest pose. Guy, me and you were getting high. <laughs> yeah. <Arnold. laughs> Are we doing a live podcast? I don't think we can. I don't think I'll have time because I got to do the Arnold stuff. You're such a square. I'm working for the fucking Arnold. I can't be like, uh, I can't commentate yeah. tonight. I got a podcast to do. Okay, I'm, I'm free guy. You're coming. You can, let's do we'll do our own. Fuck yeah, him. Yeah, we'll do it that. We don't need it. <laughs> nobody, nobody will watch it. <laughs> we'll do it and we'll get more views than him. And then we can just kick him off his own podcast. Yeah. I don't think it'll work like that. Let's do our own live commentary of the show from the. Uh, will. If you guys did it, it'd just be dead. Let's air. commentate about the. <laughs> Cool. It'd be a Let's lot of like uh, about the uh, commentating. Yeah, <laughs> we'll critique for it. We'll critique out the <laughs> job. That would, be, that would actually be funny. You should do that. <laughs> I'm like right now, Fuad sweating a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, I already. Arnold, I it was a full I, there. He probably did the old bull sweat test. <laughs> I uh, I requested a fan. Oh, I requested, did you? I requested a fan, so I'll be. Cool. That's awesome. <laughs> That's brilliant. Great. Right. Well, you're gonna see me back there like this. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, that's good thinking though, it. Proactive. Oh yeah, man. I, I I ask for a fan everywhere. I did that talk out in BC with Corey. Yeah, yeah. And the first thing I said to him was, "Can you have a fan set up for me?" <laughs> really? Yep. Yeah, that's and awesome. And he did it. I was standing that's there. That's awesome. Because like, anxiety, or because you just sweat like a hooker in church? I just get partial anxiety and partially just I get fucking hot. I just sweat. But the anxiety leads to the sweat too, though. No, no, the, the sweating starts first, and then the anxiety is because I'm sweating. And then I sweat. And then it makes it worse. Eh? It's and like just kind of a vicious circle, just like, yeah. yeah. Why, just wear, why just wear a hoodie? Come, just cover that sweat. Oh, then he won't sweat oh, at yeah. all. Just in your, yeah, get a hoodie on. Yeah, sweat. that's a good idea, guy. What kind of logic is that? Dress up. Just wear a headband for it. Yeah. It's like a tie green. Pull a tie green. Yeah, why don't you increase your body temperature? I asked Kai that one time. Listen, I, said, Justin. Hey, I said, why do you wear uh, why do you wear hoodies all the time everywhere? And he's like, I like the feeling of sweat. And I was like, that's so fucking weird. I was like, I wonder why like that's a good feeling. I guess yeah. I kind of like I, sweating. I kind of understand oh, okay. it like at the gym. I like wearing I'm wearing a hoodie and I'm sweating at the gym. Yeah. But, like I can't imagine like he was getting on a plane. Yeah, I can't imagine sitting on a plane uh, just sweating in my hoodie. I don't even wear pants oh. on a plane. I can't. Dreadful. <laughs> Even if it's like zero degrees out, I'm going to the airport in shorts. Yeah, a guy really? takes his pants off on the plane just like he yeah. did. <laughs> He's getting short before, shorts on. Before he sits house. down. Yeah. <laughs> just want to keep the crease. Wait, is Justin added in, in the chat? What? Is Justin in the chat? No, no not yet. Not. I got to add him. I got to add him. Oh, I thought, I thought maybe he was and he, and he saw that. No. Guy sent us all a picture of him hanging up his pants. Oh, well, he's shitting. I well, feel like I did see that. He's too. like the maestro. On Instagram. Yeah. 
Oh, I was uh, I put on my story, and then my phone got stolen. <laughs> um. Okay. What's going on, Justin? How's your off season? It's good. Where are you at right now? What's your weight at? Uh, like right around two forty. Do you Still. think it's going to be hard to bulk for a whole year without competing, or are you looking forward to it? No, I'm looking forward to it. I don't mind. Because a lot of guys get fucking bored, eh? Like two, three, four months yeah. in, they start to fucking get bored, and they start eating shittier food, and they start missing meals, and they just kind of lose the passion for it because it's the off season. No, it's kind of, you know, the off season kind of can drag, right? So yeah, oh yeah. No, I need it, so I'm excited for it. So you're able to keep your. Is there a period in in? I think this is interesting for people that aren't professionals because this is the hardest part for some guys coming up. Is there a point somewhere in your off season where you'll start getting sick of eating clean food? You might add in some snacks here and there. Or like, are you good the whole way through? Well, I mean, there's always a point where we don't want to fucking eat anymore, mm-hmm. but I with, with work with Matt last year, like when we kind of maxed out and started redlining on, on my appetite, like yeah. he would just pull me back and get me hungry, do yeah. it kind of a, an aggressive little mini cut. And then we'd rebound back up. So I think it, it can't ever just be full push the whole time. You're going to burn out. But does Matt, does Matt throw in some, and I don't necessarily mean pushes in like just high calories all the time, but like, is there a period where you're like, okay, I need some snacks like, or, or does Matt throw in cheats enough that you're like, you're able to stay like you have enough variety in your diet that you're happy. Yeah. I mean, I had a cheat meal every week, but aside okay. from that, not really. Yeah. That's kind of enough. It's, it's I mean, clean, I used to, yeah. I used to do two, it's fine. I used to do two cheats. I would do like, Wednesday was a cleaner cheat. And then Saturday was my like shitty. Right. Cheat. Yeah. So. Yep. And I, you know, Matt's pretty lenient. I, you know, he's a guy that like, if I'm, you know, if, if me and my wife want to go out to dinner, he's not going to, you know, bust my balls over it. So when you go to dinner with the mm-hmm. wife, do you still, are you still a bodybuilder in your head? Or are you like, I'm out with the wife. I'm going to eat whatever the fuck I feel like. It depends on where we go. If I'm going to go get Italian food, I might get, you know, I might get a, a fettuccine Alfredo or something like that. So you're not, gonna, I don't think I'm going to go to the Italian restaurant and order a steak. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm asking. I'm gonna get, yeah, I'm going to get pasta. Because some guys are bodybuilders 24-7 all the fucking time, and they can't ever oh. turn it off. No, I don't think that's healthy. I don't think so either. I don't think it's sustainable. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's just easy to burn out. Guy, how are you when you when you go, when you have a cheat scheduled? Not not pre-contest, because that's different, but like off-season. Do you kind of enjoy your, like if you're going to dinner with a girl, do you enjoy yourself? Or are you Eat like... Ice cream, fucking go bananas. Yeah, yeah fucking yeah. anybody. <laughs> Paul, what do you think? Me? Well, I usually there with you for it. Wait, well, yeah, I know, but I already know what you're doing, but the people listening don't, so I have to ask. Oh. You. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, or, you, or you could just leave the fucking podcast, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just, just leave, Paul. I'll, I'll answer I'll for you. you but... yeah. We don't need you. <laughs> um, I like, I like, oh, I just like tonight. I had five guys tonight. Did you really? Yeah. Well, that's not your like third cheat this week. Um, well, I've been doing cardio now, so I've allowed myself a little more food. Oh, um, <laughs> there you go. So, so you're just canceling out the cardio. Good job. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like I'm getting better cardio shape. That was my goal. How much cardio did you do last week? Are you doing cardio for heart health, or are you doing cardio because you want to stay leaner? Heart health. No, it's not for lean. So you don't care how you look. You just want to feel no. better. Well, I, I, no, no. I, I mean, I don't mean it like literally. I just mean like it's more for like yeah, just overall. yeah. It's not because of, yeah, it's not because I'm trying to get leaner. It's because I'm trying to get better cardio shape. Okay. I'm getting old food. I gotta think about the ticker. You got a young wife too. I know, and young kids. So I gotta think about my health. You gotta keep up. Yeah, Justin, how old's your wife? Same year, age, right? She's thirty. She's thirty. So she's a few years younger than I am. I'm you're 34. thirty-four. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So you don't have anything to worry. Guy, how old's your wife? Oh, sorry. When's <laughs> <laughs> your birthday? When's <laughs> <Like> your birthday? <laughs> Only your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got an interesting, uh, an interesting question to field. I'm sure everybody on Instagram already answered it, but uh, me and Paul got a little debate this week about uh, sh- showering with your dog. Yeah, uh, and I, I caught a lot of fucking heat from Paul. And you thought I was a liar. <laughs> and I think well, I think guys lying, but well, guy said that he takes his box, he puts his boxers on. What'd no, I don't, first of all, my boxers are already on. I take my shorts off. I go in with the dogs with my boxers on because I don't want my balls dangling near my That's back. That's well, a lot Well, is your dog going to bite your balls? Like, I don't understand. You no, but I don't need my dog, like, accidentally, like, looking around and being like. Yeah. Like, his <laughs> nose is going to touch your balls or something. Yeah, I don't need that fucking anxiety. My dog knows short. not to touch my balls. Like, he just. Yeah. Yeah. Not really. that he wants to, but he no, might. Serious. I'm being dead serious. He doesn't, like. He just knows. Like, your dog doesn't ever sniff your crotch. 
No, well, my dog's, dog's at hetero. My dog sniffed my, my okay, dog's at hetero. <laughs> Why? What did he say? He said your dog's at hetero. <laughs> that he won't go near her who has balls. I doubt it. <laughs> no, the no, dog no. could the dog could smell that thing. It knows where no for sure. He knows to stay away. Stay away from that thing. <laughs> he, he, never, he never sniffed your crotch before. No, for sure. With my clothes on, no, he wouldn't do that. Here. So what? So he, he doesn't. He knows. No, nothing. when, when he was yeah. really no, he when knows. he was really listen. When he was really young, I was getting changed in my fucking closet, my walk in, and he fucking walked in. And he was like sniffing around. I'm like, hey, get the fuck away from there. And after a couple of those, he just doesn't go near there anymore. So it's like, it's not, you know, I, he just knows not to go there. The the risk to reward. Anyway, the point is, this is what happened. So I've had the dog for six months, right? On two occasions, I've been in the shower, already showering. And then Summer will let him in the bathroom and he'll come to the door and I'll open the door. And once the first time he just walked in, I was like, oh, fuck. Okay. Well, he needs a bath anyway. So while I was in the shower, I gave him a fucking bath. Like I put the shampoo and I fucking scrubbed him down and then got him out. And then summer dried him off and I finished my shower. And I'm like, why is that a problem? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody explain to me why that's a problem. I don't think it's a problem. Okay. Justin's normal. I didn't say it was a problem. <laughs> Guys are, or Paul's a pervert. That's why Paul's just like, your I said, if, if it happened like that, it's okay. Well, that's what I happened. Would, I, I wouldn't I didn't put like, my dog in. <laughs> I didn't like snap my towel at him and like, come on, we're going to the shower now. Like I didn't I can, like, <laughs> like shower time. Egg. we're going to take showers, baby. Shower time. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> oh no, it like, happened. If it you happened. did that, I'd question you as a no. yeah. <laughs> That's what I pictured when you first told me. Listen, it's just really efficient because it's like I don't want to fill up the tub and fucking put them in the tub and fucking scrub. It's just like that's why you go through so many towels. I'm already in the fucking (laughs) shower every time. No, twice. I'm already in the shower. I'm like, it's efficient. I'm like, let's just get it done, clean them up, get them the fuck out. It was a very close vote, though. It was very close. It was 50. So just for people watching, I put I did a poll on Instagram and it was like 2,400 people voted. It's not a big deal. And 2,300 people voted it was fucked up. And you, you figure it's probably dog owners. I think at least half of the people that said it's fucked up are probably people that don't own dogs. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, because what's the whole thing about it? It doesn't even make sense. What's that? It doesn't even make sense why people would think that's fucked up. Well, because they're perverted like Paul, and Paul thinks it's dirty. <laughs> so I said, to Paul, I said to Paul, I'm like, haven't you ever showered with your daughter? And he that's said, yeah. She's a baby. No, you said she was two. I, you, okay, you yeah, said two. She was but two. you still... Yeah, but you add time every time. No, that you no, tell you the said story. she was two. Did she not? Ten minutes from now, you're going to say she was six. Okay, well, she, she was seven. Was, she was anyway. two. No, you said she was two, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, re- I remember stuff from when I was two. No, I don't believe that. So well, you, I don't believe that at all. You know what he does? He words things to fuck. I know. He's like, He's like I the media. The thing, I posted the thing about White Castle. <laughs> it could be, what do you prefer, White Castle or McDonald's? It's what do you prefer? Shit, White Castle or <laughs> right. McDonald's? Like, he <laughs> right. the fucking polls. He's right. He's, he's, like, like, he's, like, he's like a politician. He's right. like the media. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I am. I'm Fuad Abiyad Media. It says on my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, um, okay, fine. We'll do it again. Comment hey. below. Comment below. Uh, word it this way, Fuad. Do you prefer? Do you... No, I'll just say very basic. Do you prefer White Castle or McDonald's? Okay, but then for the showers, say it this way. Do you think it's weird to take a shower with your dog? Yes or no? That's not Maybe. what happened, though. It is. That's yeah, like they're saying, do you think it's weird to take a shower with your daughter? Yeah, you could say that. But two, a two-year-old or younger. I remember you when I was... You can't just say daughter, not I even remember, age. I remember stuff when I was I two. Don't remember, I, I don't believe that. I don't that. remember shit when I was two. I I don't, nobody I was does, two. except for Fuad. I don't believe that. I specifically remember shit when I was two. There's no verifying that. Well, I can tell you, and then you... Tell me something. <laughs> tell me something. Huh? I don't want to tell you. Well, he's going to make up a story. So, anyway... <laughs> It was of abuse. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Right. <laughs> well, your daughter may remember that. That's more weird than having a dog in the shower. If you ask her now, she doesn't know. No, she probably feels bad. She's not going to tell me. <laughs> she probably feels embarrassed. Like, I remember it. dad. It was Walked out of her thing. subconscious. She's like, I remember dad's a little thing dangling by my head. <laughs> <laughs> a little finger. <laughs> a little finger, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I don't think it's weird because it's a fucking dog and it's like I said, it's efficient. I'm already in there. Get it done. Get it, get him out. Period. Yeah, I get the efficiency part. And White Castle doesn't even stand a chance to McDonald's. What guy likes White Castle more than McDonald's? Yeah. Oh, guy. You're Italian. How could you? What's Italian have to do with it? White Castle is not even food. 
What, Paul, go back to your stupid <laughs> argument. What? <laughs> White Castle's not White even White Castle, food. McDonald's, and Italian having But comedy. I don't understand what Italian has to do with it. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, you like some better food than fucking White Castle, don't you? I hate them both. I think White Castle's better. Well, you think because you... he's Italian, he automatically knows good food? Well, yeah. Why? He's Italian. So you cool. think you're so that's racist. You think all Italians know good food. Yes. No, but I know Guy is was also a butcher and he seems to be somewhat of a chef. So he's Italian. So he's got uh you guy know guy is a man of elegant tastes. <laughs> yeah, he is. He should By the way, guy, I love the uh love the flame so on the driveway. All, so not all Italians, just just guy. Well, Italians who are also good cooks and butchers. Well, it wouldn't that be anybody that's a good cook? Probably has good taste in food. No, 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 no. Italians. Well, people, are... Italians are... <laughs> He's making fun of you, idiots. <laughs> I'm agree with him. <laughs> okay, that's I'm gonna. A... That's that's for when Fuad comes here. I'm gonna roast his ass when he comes up my driveway <laughs> with your flamethrower. <laughs> I'll just drive so over you. That doesn't. Car. I don't give a shit. It it doesn't burn your driveway or nothing. No burn marks. Yes. <clears throat> huh? What does that have to do with it? Yes, it burns off. But the gas. Still fire. fire. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> still fire. I got all over my driveway. There's no, nothing on my driveway. Oh, you got like a like a sealer on it. Yeah, but it's it, the gas burns. Oil stains your driveway, not gas. What do you have? He's not talking He's about staining your driveway. He's, He's got a flamethrower. Talking about burning the cement. Yeah, like leaving so? burn marks on the cement. No, it doesn't leave burn marks. Okay. No. No. Huh. You have an actual flamethrower? Are you talking about like a just a propane torch? Did you post it, guy? On your is it just in your stories? Or yeah, that's what I saw. <clears throat> guys, is it in your feed? Is it in your feed? Oh, there. Justin. Oh, you have a fucking flamethrower. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have that, guy? You're, 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 you're far too aggressive to have that thing. <laughs> your anger issues are going to get the best. You put it in the back seat for your rage, for your road rage. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Um, okay, last debate before we get into questions. Justin, I, I, have to ask, I have to ask you. Guy, you've already answered. And I also want to make clear the debate of what the debate, debate actually was. Remember we were talking about bodybuilding as a skill? Oh, boy. Oh, this, this, this <laughs> made like headlines. A lot of people got mad about this. It's crazy. I've been They're getting like, messages. People are DMing me. People are upset. And I'm like, <laughs> everybody needs to calm the fuck down a little bit. First of, all, pussies. first of all, we're just having fun. Second of all, <laughs> I did make clear that it was compared to other sports. I didn't say it's not a fucking skill at all, like zero <laughs> skill. I said compared to other sports. So that was the question. So since we're on the podcast, Justin, what do you think? Is bodybuilding, does bodybuilding require as much skill as uh, playing basketball, hockey, football, tennis, figure skating, gym Justin, gymnastics? No. Okay. Not when you frame the question like that. Does it take as much skill? No. Well, what do you, well how else would I frame it? Well, I think the question was, is it a skill? That was oh. the argument. No, 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 it wasn't. I'll show you. So just, yeah, to, just to be clear. Okay. Because I think people kept saying that. And I'm like, that's not what the original comment was. Justin, think about posing, training, like that. that oh, means. no, it's a fucking, it, there's no, no, a no, lot there's of no, skill Listen, involved. I'm not even doubting that. I'm not saying yeah. it's not a skill and there's no but skill involved. I know what you're saying. It, it I was implying compared to other, like, think about it, guy. Does it take as I'm much? A, a branch made a very good point. Would no, Michael Brand... Jordan have been able to do what Ronnie Coleman did? Just wait. Just wait. Just let me ask you one question. Does it take as much skill to bodybuild as it does to be to be like a gymnastics in gymnastics at the Olympic level? Does Ronnie Coleman have the same level of skill squatting a bar as like an Olympic gold medalist in gymnastics? My opinion, yes. Okay. Well, that's oh. your opinion, and it's fair. Like you can have that opinion. I just don't think it's the. And it's like saying. Does he have the same skill as like a guy who knows how to build a house? What okay. I'm trying to what I'm the point I'm trying to make is there's varying degrees of skill. I, I would say everything that you do is more of a right. craft than a skill. No, it's called a skilled trade. Like carpentry is called a skilled trade. Like that's a skill. So it's like what I'm trying. My point was is not that bodybuilding is not a skill. What my point was is there are varying degrees because the conversation started because I was saying there are two reasons why people don't identify with bodybuilding. Are you talking about skill or more like technical difficulty? It doesn't That's matter. It's kind of parsing words at that point, no? Uh, I, uh. So okay. just to be, I just want to be clear about this, just so people know. So this is, buys and tries took the quote and put it up. And this was my original the quote. The original quote. 
This is the original quote here. Okay. Bodybuilding is not a skill. It's not a skill like shooting a basketball, throwing a football, having a laser for a fucking arm and throwing a football and having accuracy is a skill. So I was comparing it to other sports. The, the, first, first, sentence. the first sentence. Yeah. But that's, oh. that's when, when I said it, Ben was like, Oh, wait a minute. And I was like, yeah. And then I clarified what I was saying. Right. So, it, def it definitely takes it less skill to bodybuild than to, you know, hit a hole in one on a par four. So guy, you think all skills are equal. At the top of that level, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if the, the person who's the best at bodybuilding, the best at building homes, the best at playing football, the, the best at whatever you call I think that's a skill set across the board that, yes. So all those skills are equal. Uh, yeah, when you're the best at something, yes. Because that's a skill. Because somebody that's a, the best at building a house is not going to be the best at gymnastics. No, but you're, that's, not the, that's not the question. The question is, does it take as much skill to you know those you know those quarterback challenges that before the pro bowls yes, yes. where they take the guy and that there's a target moving and they got to hit the fucking hole in the you think that takes the same amount of skill as squatting a bar how about this i played football for 15 years and i'm saying yes still no i'm asking you just answer that yes. question you that takes yes. the same amount of skill as squatting a bar yes but i could take a kid off the street and teach him how to squat like a bar. This, there was okay hey, ready for this there were guys in college football okay that were better than me on the field, but couldn't power clean fucking 225. Wait a second. Just, just let me just answer this question. Could I take a guy off the street and teach him how to squat a bar in a month? Squat a bar? Yeah, just a bar. Yes. I, that's yes. that's a skill. Pick, Squatting is a skill. Yes. Could I pick somebody up off the street and show them how to throw a football in a month? Yes. Into a target yes. that's moving? No. In a month? In a month, yes. Yes. So you think you could teach somebody how to throw like Tom Brady in a month? Tom Brady, no. To hit a fucking target, yes. Dude, those moving targets are hit by professionals. You don't think anybody could come off the street and hit them? No, but I think... You don't really somebody, think that, after do you? A month of, after a month of throwing a football, I think somebody would... Have, I'm not saying a fucking fast target, but I think if you set up targets for I'm somebody... I'm saying the exact thing at the, at the Pro Bowl, at those competitions. You can't because you just compared squatting a bar, so that's not right. squatting a lot of weight. So no, you no, can't compare the, weight, the, the, weight is, the weight. Well, the weight is not the skill. The weight is strength. The skill is actually squat. The movement is a skill, right? Strength is not a skill. Mm. Is strength a skill? I think so. The strength is developing from, strength is a skill. That's done through work ethic. It's not skill. Skill is something is is a movement you do it, uh, an endeavor like a, 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 a. Yeah, but you're 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 comparing squatting a bar. So so my argument in body. I'm comparing the movement. Right, like, yeah, but the, I'm comparing throwing or just a football. No, no, no. But like, there is squatting a bar, right? And there's then they're no, squatting 800 pounds. Yeah, but it's that's building strength. Is strength skill? Yeah, but throwing a football and throwing a football at a fast moving target is the same comparison. No, it's not. Throwing a football is a skill. Throwing a football into a target that's moving is another skill. There's no variation to squat. Is a squat? So it's, yeah, it's, it's not just the strength that allows you to squat 800 pounds. You have to be efficient with the movement. And you have to be effective. You have to be a good squatter to be able to squat that regardless. But of when I training. teach somebody, so you have to have develop to... a skill, the skill yeah. set to squat efficiently, to target the muscle groups, to recruit the, uh, the appropriate muscle groups to squat that. And I, think I already, that's... I already said, I already said that it's a skill to do that, but I'm saying at the same degree as fine. A, a gymnast, hey, okay, wait, are you a gymnast, saying, wait a I, I would agree. It's let's, not, let's not take a, a gymnast thing. on the fucking rings. You think a gymnast on the rings in the Olympics is the same level of skill as Ronnie Coleman squatting a bar. I think it's a different skill, different no, level of skill. But at the difficulty level, of that skill is far greater. Okay, so if you were okay, that if you're saying one skill could be more difficult than another, then I would agree. That's all. But you isn't have to that say. the same thing as saying it's a, it's a more of a skill? I'll say this: no, when, I rode, no. when I rode BMX, when I rode BMX, that took a lot more skill than what I'm doing right now. That's hmm. what I'm trying to say, like, it's not. Yeah. It, it's just listen. There's a reason why all of us. I can name so many bodybuilders that were like football players, fucking hockey players, whatever. And they just all of a sudden started bodybuilding. Why do you think it's because they didn't want to play pro football or they didn't want to play pro hockey? They just, you know what? When you, rather, I would rather go bodybuild and make no money than play in the NFL. No, they did it because they didn't have the skill to play in the NFL. More difficult is one thing, but when you say it doesn't involve skill. No, I didn't I say it doesn't involve skill. I said there are varying degrees of skill. You keep saying doesn't involve skill. I'm not saying that. 
I'm saying the degree of skill it takes to do a backflip on a BM de- BMX in a fucking That's half why I said earlier technical like the te- like technical difficulties of each skill vary with what you're doing. But that it, that's it. we're saying the same thing. Yep, in my opinion, you're agreeing. Okay. Yeah, some are more difficult. But that's this. Thanks for putting. A, thanks for putting. A, <laughs> I'm just agreeing. Oh, well, we are glad you're here. Glad to have just you. Know what, Paul, you've been very quiet. Let's ask. I want to ask you. Do you think Ronnie Coleman's skill set is the same as like an Olympic extreme skier or? Whatever fucking sport you want to you want to put out there. That's what I'm saying. I think they're both skilled, but one's more a difficult skill to master. Okay, but we're just using semantics now. When you say a more difficult skill, are we not saying more skill? It takes more skill to do one than the other. Yeah, well, that's what I meant by more difficult. Yeah, okay. So we're all saying the same thing. So I wasn't yeah. crazy for saying what I'm saying. No, that's just the way you're saying it, maybe. Maybe for some people, they don't see it that way. Pro- I think it's how you're saying it. Uh, why? Because I'm saying it has more skill? That's not offensive. Like, so I think... There's something that me and James and, and James said it specifically on the last podcast is it actually takes bodybuilders should be proud of themselves because maybe it takes less skill, but it takes more work and more dedication, yeah. more patience to do what we do. I think bodybuilders are really tough yeah, sport for this reason. Why not together? Doesn't that develop a skill to do that? But I already said it was skill. I'm not saying there's no skill in bodybuilding. I never did. I said it compares no, 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 no. to other sports. I, I think that bodybuilding is one of the toughest sports because you don't really get any time off. You've always got to keep 100% agree. getting better. You always have to have good workouts. You always have to be on point with your diet. There's no time off of bodybuilding. So yeah. to me, it's one of the hardest sports out there. I 100% agree. And people people kind of message me like, I can't believe you're talking badly about bodybuilding. I'm, like, I'm not. I love bodybuilding more than anybody. I'm just, this is a, a specific thing we're saying. I'm not saying anything about hard work. I'm not saying anything about discipline. I'm not saying anything about the patience mm-hmm. it takes to wait out, to put on 80 pounds of fucking muscle on your physique. Like mm-hmm. there are a lot of things that we do yeah. that, that separate us from other sports. Yeah. And if you want to be the best at body, like you can't have like a bad week of training or, you know, if you're going to be Mr. Olympia, you know what I mean? Like, sure. You could take a break here and there, give your body a break, but you've always got to continuously try to get better. Uh, to me, that's, you know. So we're all good. We can move on now. I think, yeah, I think we all agree. I'm good. I'm okay. good. I like that. I like when we all agree. I like that too. I hate when we argue. It makes me sad. <laughs> uh okay let's do some questions guy what are you making uh shrimp and rice and green beans what'd you say rice and green beans of what shrimp shrimp you put shrimp. coconut oil, coconut oil on that with some salt what you try putting some coconut oil on that with some salt i usually put it in the pan if i don't if i want more fat are you talking about you after put- or before Hey, well, I, I usually put it on after, like when it's hot, I'll, I'll put like a teaspoon of, Oh, usually I put it in the pan and like, cook, I'll cook with it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Hey guy, was that a signed Lawrence Taylor jersey in the background? Yeah. yeah. I got one too. I didn't get a frame for it yet though. I have, I have his jersey and his helmet. Oh yeah. Yeah. He was my favorite player of like all time, like in any sport huh. growing up. I was like obsessed with him. Yeah, remember, those, uh, awesome. me- remember those crunch course videos I told you about Paul? The what? Sorry. The crunch course videos that used to come out that used that they would feature like certain players. Yeah, like like football life, things like that. No, not football life. It was literally called Crunch Course. I think it was oh. Sports Sports Illustrated came out came out with them. Okay. And they would feature certain players. I used to watch them before every football game, like the day before. And they always Lawrence Taylor was one of them. And they would show fucking his highlight reel from all his fucking sacks and just fucking insane. Yeah. Just Dominant. awesome. Yeah. He was like, he just, he like, he was just a, like, he signed the helmet. What do you, what do you wrap on your jersey? Cause on my helmet, he wrote LT was a bad motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Mine just has his autograph. I didn't meet him. Uh, my cousin got it for me. Oh, that's cool. All right. Silence. <laughs> yep. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Tired. Um, I mean, I mean, you got an hour and 10 to go. Past your bedtime, Fuad. This coffee's going to kick in in a minute. I'm going to fucking be golden. Oh, hey, I got a recommendation on Instagram, Fuad, after we talked about my breathing problems last time. Yeah. Uh, this guy told me about these internal uh, nostril dilators are called. Um, <laughs> you put these two cones in your nose when you go to sleep. It's supposed to open your nose up. So you sleep. It goes, in like, a, goes in like a prong and spreads open. Kind of, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of connected in the middle, so it goes right into your nose there. Right. Yeah. Um, Will it make your nose bigger? Yeah. Yeah. It makes them flare. <laughs> I mean, like, will it leave it bigger? Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know. 
stretch out your I, nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I hope not. I want to get a nose job though, anyways. I want to get my septum fixed. How guys, how weird would it be if Paul logged on and he had a nose job? <laughs> like um, if, if Paul had like, you notice? if Paul had Justin's nose. Well, your nose would be the most it's obvious. Thing. If you got a nose job, it would be the most obvious nose job in the entire world. Okay, I'm not going to tell anybody. Everybody would be able to tell. You can't okay, I'm not going to tell anybody when I get it done. But we're all going to be able to tell. Huh? Don't you think Paul's nose is, gives him character, though? Yeah. His nose is like a cartoon nose. I, I love it. Yeah, somebody right? somebody yeah. said that my nose is as big as Nick Walker's arms. I tell, I tell, <laughs> <laughs> Nick Walker's arms aren't that big. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. <laughs> He's making fun of you. <laughs> He's got massive arms. I like it. It's good. <laughs> good notes. I told you, don't read the comments. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I have since that one. Don't read any more comments. Paul. People, are, people are, they're very mean on the internet. I know. Jesus. You know what's crazy, though? We get upset, but then we talk about it. Like, we laugh at the fucking people that make fun of us. But in the moment, yeah. you're like, ah, oh, fuck that guy. Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, fuck. Uh, okay. No, we don't want to talk about that. Oh, one thing I want to touch on before we go on. People keep asking me. They keep saying, "Why don't you talk about the Nick Walker situation?" I'm like, "Look, Nick is a friend. If Nick wants to talk about it, he'll come on the podcast to talk about it." If he doesn't want to talk about it, we're not going to talk about it. That's simple yeah, as that. It's not our job. We're his friend. That would be disrespectful as a friend to do that. So yeah. shut up. And also, I think people, I need to let people know, like, this is not a news channel. Like, Nick Tregilly does news. Fucking, uh, what's Nick Strength and Power does news. MD does fucking news. This is just a bunch of guys shooting shit. This is not the news. So I'm not going to cover every single piece of drama that comes out in the industry. And if I have somebody on that it pertains to, if they want to talk about it, they'll talk about it. Yeah, guys. Yeah. So give me a break. Stop messaging yeah. me. But Paul, <laughs> cut alone. Well, Don't talk about Paul's nose. He's very sensitive. <laughs> no more comments about it, please. <laughs> now he you knows what's going to happen now, right? Yeah. You're going to get nose I'm emojis, not, like nonstop. I'm not, I'm not going to read him this time, man. I'm not going to read him this time for that. <laughs> is that, like, is that yeah, his nose is kind of like exactly like the emoji, though. It does look like the emoji a little bit. What emoji? On, on your iPhone. Look it up. Sorry? On your iPhone, there's a big nose emoji. Yeah. Well, seriously, where you have like the you have like the perfect nose that looks like you have the the mask on with the mustache and the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Are you coming like Mr. Potato? Are you coming like Mr. That's, Mr. A, that's a classic look, though. I like it's good. It's because my mustache is still uh, it's a classic Italian it's still brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Mr. Potato Head. Like if you wore that as a disguise, you would look like the same person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question. Oh, uh, this question is for Justin and Paul only. Oh, great. Yeah. At their all-time best, place these bodybuilders in order of placings if they all did a show together. Great. To be a real podcast, isn't it? Yeah. Fuad, Fuad oh. James, Ian, Nathan, Roman, Brett, Nick, Guy. Oh, hey. what was the question? If they all did a show at their all-time best, place these bodybuilders in order of placings i hate these questions yeah i know you're gonna hurt some feelings paul i know i fucking hate these so you gotta do it do i gotta answer yeah i don't care if you don't put me first i'll, be, I'll get over it i sleep well at night don't worry you're not gonna have me on anymore if i don't put you first no i don't i'm such an <laughs> asshole <laughs> well, you were gonna have some fucking you're such a dick <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, will. I already know. I already know. Listen, I already know I'm not first out of this group. So I, trust me, I'm not going to have my feelings hurt. I was just joking. Um, so statistically, we'd probably have to have Nick first. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Who is the, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to. I want to do. We'll play it twice. I want to play it once statistically and once not statistically. No, because statistically, obviously, what is that coffee kicking in? I know. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, statistically, Nick and Ian win. Yeah. Uh, so then, you know, the, the game's not fun. So let's play not statistically. Just okay. with your, your favorite looks. Um, Fuad wins. Hey. What? Huh? I said Fuad wins. 
I'm trying no. to get, trying to get <laughs> He doesn't want to get, he doesn't okay, want to get a <laughs> You guys are pussies. Let's move on. Fuck it. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. Because you got to put someone last. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's tough. Yeah. All right. Let's do a new question. It's me. Go ahead. <laughs> so well, you're the only 212 guy, guy. It's me. You would have a disadvantage because of your size. I have more wins than ever on a podcast. Suck my balls. Yeah, but yeah. you're really, really small. But 212, <laughs> 212 wins only count for half. Yeah, that's true. You have three and a half wins. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. I'm trying to piss him off. He just left. He's gone. He's, he's, he's not coming he's back. He's food in his living room watching TV. <laughs> he's like, fuck you guys. I'm not coming back. <laughs> uh, how do I get a bigger appetite? Justin, you can feel this one. You're a big eater. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> cardio. <laughs> cardio. Paul, you have any advice? Bigger appetite? Smoke weed. Smoke weed. Brilliant. Okay, cardio, day. smoke weed. Guy, you got one? Smoke weed every day. You got smoke weed too. I'm going to say reduce your fats. Yeah, that's I'm say yeah, nothing, no, I'll say this. Nothing, nothing, nothing else helped me. I, I probably would have been a better bodybuilder if I smoked weed earlier in my career because that's the only thing that ever helped me with my appetite, and I didn't start smoking until two years ago. No, it's valid. I'm not saying it's not valid. So I thought you've been smoking for a long time, though, guy. No. Oh, you just started? That's why I fucking... Oh. Oh, I thought you were like chronic for a long time. No, I, I assumed it. I just assume anybody who smokes as much as you guys has just like been like. No, that I forever. never. I only started doing it because Acido was like, "Bro, you got to figure out something to fucking get your appetite up." Are you just, serious? That's what guy really? you fucking smoking weed? Yeah, Chris was like, "Do you ever smoke weed?" I don't know. He goes, "We well, better figure something out because your appetite's horrible." And you just like, and you just liked it that much. I like it. I mean, my it helps me sleep. It helps my anxiety and fucking I, I get hungry as fuck. So fuck. It blunts my appetite. It gives me anxiety and I can't sleep. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Seriously, I just can't. I, it gives me. I, a, go ahead. Uh, sorry. No, I just I lay in bed thinking about shit all night, and then I don't have. I can't eat, and then I just feel like an idiot, and I get. I can't have conversations. I clam up and get all weird. Yeah, I, I hate. It. For me, is it, it, it the same? Just sorry for it. I was gonna say for me, it gives me anxiety. It makes, yeah. me wanna, it makes me want to eat crappy food, not good food. Yeah. And But it does help me sleep. Yeah. Uh, Justin, like even like Indica and stuff like that, that, that's the same kind of thing? Yeah, I don't really see a difference. Really? I've I never seen, been, I've never really seen a difference either. Paul, Paul fucking is like, try this one, try that one. I'm like, I fucking feel the same shit. I got something for you right now. I got something for you right now for that. I bring I bring it what to borrow. Well, you're high as fuck. <laughs> well, I would say it's fuck. But... Okay, so without without suggesting this guy take take drugs, I would say move more, do cardio. Yeah. I think that that'll. I think that's the best advice you give somebody to. I think I think a lot of times people eat, people eat a lot more fat than they need to. Fat satiating, yeah. so right. And even if you like just temporarily pull back fats and in, introduce leaner yeah. proteins for a week, that can make a huge difference. Well, because yeah. some people, their coaches tell them, you know, like um, eat avocados or add peanut butter to your oatmeal or like, so if you're, if your fiber is high and your fats are high, then your shit's not going to fucking move. And yeah. some people, you know, for example, like I remember talking to Evan a long time ago, we were talking about brown rice and white rice. And Evan was like, I eat white rice because it digests faster. It moves faster through my system. Yeah. And I get yeah, hungry, you hungry. too and I say that too, and, and it yeah. gets you hungrier quicker. So the name of the game for us, some people try to, you know, some people try and say, well, you got to be healthy. So you need more fiber. And I'm like, yeah, but bodybuilding is not always the healthiest thing. And sometimes when you're trying to eat four or five, 6,000 calories, a lot of fiber is going to fucking hinder that whole thing. Yeah. So, I, I like to have my, I like to have my fiber like later in the night. So that way I find it fills me up a bit more. So I'm not binging at night. Well, that's when I had Dan Garner on the podcast and he's a, he's a performance uh, lab analyst. He was telling me if you want to stay healthy and you want to make sure you get your vibe, your fiber, have it at the end of the night after your last meal and like a Metamucil shake or something that way you're still getting your fiber, but you're not interrupting yeah. your, your, uh, your appetite during the day. Cause it'll be gone by morning and you'll be able to have your breakfast to move on with your day without yeah. uh, interrupting yeah. your appetite. Sometimes when I have a fiber shake, it sits in my stomach for a bit. Yeah. I, I mean, I do. I've, I've done a lot in like 10 years. What's that guy? I don't think I missed a fiber shake before I go to bed in 10 years. Really? Eh? Paul's big on him too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I'm cleaned out and I feel yep. fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Yep. Also, I, I don't do, think I do the fiber, the greens and the, uh, that Trojan horse stuff. 
Yeah. I don't but think I, I like if I travel, that's the, if, if I bring one thing with me, I will not forget that. Justin, yeah. go ahead. You're going to say something. I'm just saying, I don't think enough people pay attention to like their digestion, optimizing digestion. Like uh, for a lot of people, if you're eating sweet potatoes, a lot of people have issues digesting sweet potatoes. If you're eating oatmeal, a lot of people have issues digesting oatmeal. Yep. Egg whites can bloat people and, and slow your digestion. So you need to look at trigger foods. If you're not optimally digesting your food, you need to start eliminating things and seeing what works for you and what doesn't. People always think about sweet potatoes because they're all- I don't they're eat, you just named, Justin. They're like, oh, they're, uh, they're low glycemic, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, the, the sweet potatoes, first of all, have a lot of fiber. Second of all- they have a sugar alcohol in them, which is going to bloat you. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Like anytime I eat fucking avocado, anytime I eat uh, sweet potatoes, I get the worst fucking gas from the sugar. Oh, alcohol. me too. Yeah. yeah. But people don't even, but people don't pay attention to this shit. Yeah. <laughs> people eat food and it bloats them and then they don't, they don't recognize it. You know why I think <laughs> that is though? I think most people, and I, I don't want to generalize, but what I've seen from clients that I've trained, yeah, a lot of people want to have a lot of variety. And mm -hmm. when you're having a lot of variety in your day-to-day -day diet, you can't pinpoint what it is that's fucking you up because you're yeah. eating something different every day. Mm -hmm. So if you take a week and you eat or two weeks and you eat the same thing every day for a week or two weeks, you'll be able to figure out which meal is fucking up your stomach the most. And Absolutely. then you can start to make changes. Yeah. Like for I me, know I, I pretty much have cream of rice or white rice for every meal. Yeah. It's really it's, it digests the best. That's all I eat. I don't do I have I hate oatmeal, hate sweet potatoes. Yeah, I do well. Both, I do, things blow me. I do well with potatoes. They digest really, really fast. White me. potatoes, I like. Yeah, yeah, white potatoes. potatoes. Like a Yukon Gold or something, I can yeah, do. Yeah, but, yeah. Sweet but um, the other thing is pre-workout. A lot of people have trouble with appetite. I noticed for me, my smallest meal of the day is my pre-workout meal. Yeah. And if it's not small, it's very low in fat. Like I don't do ground beef before the gym. I don't do steak before the gym. It's usually I chicken. Do fish. Yeah, chicken, fish, yeah. egg whites, something like that, or or whey protein. Because anytime I do a lot of fat before the gym, I just feel sluggish. I don't feel like so it my, if I if I know it's going to be a couple hours before I'm going to get to the gym, and I can't have another meal before I go. Like say I'm leaving work, mm -hmm. then I'll have one that's a little bit yeah. heavier. Yeah, if I you have, have more time, yeah. Yeah, I have yeah. a fattier meal, but it's I put it like an, I put it like 90 minutes before I train. Yeah, if it's <laughs> long enough before, and if I yeah. I do still add a little bit of fats, but I notice like I just said to guy like the coconut oil. I feel like a little bit of coconut oil will slow down my carbs enough that I'm not crashing during my workout. Yeah. yeah, but but it doesn't actually slow me down to the point where it's bothering me. So like yeah. it's almost it almost digests like at a perfect rate for me. Yeah, John, John just talked about that, didn't he? Fred? John's the one who got me doing that. You got to yeah. you have to experiment because everybody deals differently with different fats. Like for me, peanut butter fucks me. If I do peanut butter and oatmeal, yeah, I'm fucked for like oh yeah two and a half hours. Like I can't. Mm -hmm. Um, so everybody has to. But I've heard other people say they eat peanut butter and they're totally fine. So you have to figure out what fat works for you, like avocados i deal with really well paul doesn't deal with avocados that well at all i get better though as i've I started eating more often and, uh, and i've noticed that my body digests them better now yeah they're well they're a really good food i mean they're super high in potassium they're high they are yeah. they do have fiber so that's good too and you really, i noticed really high in fats i noticed too i'll bring i bring walnuts to work a lot because they're easy to snack on while i'm at work uh but i don't eat them on a, when i'm at home very often so if i'm off work for a bit and i'm not eating them then i try then my first day back at work i'll bring them and i'll eat them it'll give me a sore stomach but then Walnuts I'll get are, used to it again, though. It'll I'm go pretty away. sure walnuts are like the highest fatty nut. Isn't that doesn't bother your stomach? When macadamia nuts are highest. Oh, macadamia nuts are higher. I think so. Look it up. Are they? It, it's okay, but like walnuts don't that eating nuts and stuff doesn't because I feel like I think I read somewhere that nuts don't fully digest in your stomach. Yeah. Like you so like, so, but when my body gets used to eating them again. What if I'm, like if I'm eating them every day again, then yeah. I'm fine. But if I just eat them once in a while, I get a sore stomach. You're not supposed to eat nuts. And grains like that every day because you can get like diverticulitis from that. Because I've had that. Now you know why. Jeez, <laughs> it was a long time ago, <laughs> but yeah, I did have it before. It fucking sucks. Um, thoughts on qualifying for the O early versus later? Early is always better. I've always thought early is better too. Justin, I agree. I've never done it. <laughs> I mean, if you had to think about how you would, in theory, it'd be nice to qualify early, have some downtime, yeah. and then, yeah. Because this guy's saying, like, if you qualified early, you'd have more time to prep. If you qualified later, you'd be ready for the show already. Yeah. yeah. The problem is most of the that's time. The mo that's more risky. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. If you want to aim for a show. But, I mean, even what, what the last qualifying show is still how many weeks away from the four, four weeks. That's why four I think it's a problem. Last year, it was different because they did the Arnold qualified you. So, it was like. Right. Yeah. Two weeks, two weeks prior. Yeah. But most of the time, the last qualifying show was four weeks before. And I feel like that's kind of long to hold your condition unless you're Ian. 
Well, yeah, if you're really trying to optimize things. Yeah. The problem is in that four-week period, your body was already starved all the way down and depleted and diuretic. And in four weeks, your body still wants to come back up, and now you're trying to fight and bring it back down. Yeah, yeah. I think it's also – You rebound a little bit. I think what we're saying is more in general, but I think there Realistic. are – well, I just think there are outliers, right? Like, like Ian gets better as he competes. Yeah. So some people may do better if they compete closer to the O because they're already knocked one out and they're getting ready for the next one. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think most of the time you guys are all right. Like earlier is better. Yeah. Um, the worst thing that's happened to you during peak week. Anything? Burned. Huh? Burns. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You had those. What was that again? Yeah. What, what was that like disease like, you had? Taking out Dactone and apparently with all Dactone, you can't go in a fucking tanning bed. Really? Mm. Really? Apparently. So what so happened? happened? It was, they, it was two things. They called it a fixed drug eruption and a phototoxic reaction. So the Aldactone in my bloodstream mixed with the UV lights caused me to like burn from the inside out. What the sure. fuck? That's crazy. So what did it look like? Like sores or something or what? No, it's, it's, um, it looked like psoriasis, I think, from what I remember. Oh, really? Did it look like psoriasis? Is that it did look like a rash, didn't it? Like fucking burns. Where, where was it? All over my fucking body, bro. That's really? Fucking terrible. All yeah. Way, all the way down. The only place that I actually had it on my fucking dick. Oh. oh no, not psoriasis. That's the wrong thing. Sorry. Psoriasis is dry skin, bro. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. Eczema, you're thinking, I think, for it. No, no, eczema. Ex no. Yeah, not eczema. Eczema. <laughs> you, you get the gist of it. Come on. <laughs> Wait, you said that? Who said that? Also, also the gist of it. <laughs> I have heard other people say eczema, though, so that was not as bad. Have you? Okay. Yeah, I have. I have. That one's actually not, not bad at all. I think it's like a <laughs> tomato, tomato kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. So this is how it started out. You can't tell how bad it is. Yeah. Your phone. Well, I mean, here, you can tell, but on. it's not as clear as when I remember seeing it. Here, that was my arm. Oh, oh fuck. shit. Holy fuck. Well, your arm. Right that looks like you tore your bicep. Yeah. Holy, Holy fuck. fuck. And then I got burned. See, like peeled. Jeez. Wow. Oh, wow. This was, this was a week later. I, I was at a wedding here. Oh. Nice butt, oh, dude. Your ass, yeah, nice ass, your ass is gross. Jesus yeah. <laughs> your ass is gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. You got scars? Yeah. Well, I have. Uh, you look like like you, I have some, like on spots on my body what looks like black and blue still. They're really? more like pigmentation, discoloration. Yeah. Has that ever happened to anybody else that you know of? The doctor said that was the worst case. He's ever but he's seen, seen it before. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Favorite. I still don't think. To be honest with you, I still don't think that's what it fucking was, because even still to this day, the spots that I have on me will still like at times like start bothering me. Huh. It almost looks like shingles, but shingles doesn't go over your body. No, shingles is fucking blisters, you knucklehead. I had shingles once. It kind of it felt it was kind of like a burn shingles blister. Like, like my shingles right here years ago, but it was like that. I had it like back and shoulder. Little dots. No, yeah, mine was like I strips. Being, I remember it being little dots too. I don't remember it being like a burn. Yeah. You had a foot? No, I had knew someone who had it. Oh, and, mine was like like a strip kind of. Like a burn strip. Yeah, because I thought it's, it follows your nerve, uh, your nerve endings. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, huh. let's move on. Who could handle? A, who could best handle a polygamous relationship? Meaning having several wives, and it's official and not secret. Oh, I don't, I don't oh, want those kind of problems. Forget. Um, no way. That's not the question, no. Paul. It's could hey, you handle on. it if it was acceptable? No, I don't. I, one wife is more than enough to. <laughs> no way no I can, I can hardly handle the one right no way who do you guys could guy you think you'd handle that what having two or three wives four wives bitch i can't handle getting a motherfucking date you want to talk about handle more than one wife <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna say ben or ian i'm gonna no, say ben. 
Ben's too soft. I think Ben Ben's a, a one woman kind of man. I think Ben's. Oh, a very, I think Ian would go fucking crazy. I think you, Ben is a very no. sexual person, and I think he could be like he's very liberal sexually. Is he? I think he could do it. Yeah, I think he could do it. What, what do you about mean? James? Oh, James James is good getting his fill with one. I think. Yeah, Nick, I could see though. Nick couldn't. He's young. I think he's too jealous. Yeah. Oh, is he? Okay. Nick, well, he's not. Nick, but wait a minute. Yeah, but, that would affect him. Yeah. Yeah. Would, yeah. You would. That'd be fine. Nick doesn't. He's have a young guy. Problem. He can keep up. I wonder if. He he can... have... What do you think, guy? Could he do it? He doesn't have the mental capacity to handle all that. <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> it would all fall apart. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Long. This is a longer one. I've recently made my way out of a prolonged funk and are making it back and I'm making it back to the training and dieting on a schedule. What are some ways to help you get recentered and refocused to come back from some time off? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, this always, these questions always frustrate me. They don't frustrate me. I'm just kind of confused by the question. It's yeah. like, you know, you took, took time off. You have a plan in place. There's not really any tricks. Just follow the plan. Just got to do it. Yeah, like, do you guys have any special yeah. tricks? Just watch some old training videos to get some motivation, like the old Dorian video or something. Fuck you know? that. You, if you just want to get back to where you were, you want to get back to training, you're just going to do it. That's what I was yeah. it's like. It's not, to, to me, it's like, is it a priority or is it not a priority? And if, yeah. it's, a fucking, yeah. if it's a fucking priority, then you just got to do the work. And if it's not a priority, yeah. you're probably not going to do it. Yeah, if you got to find motivation, then. Yeah, if you even have to ask that question, then I, I question whether or not. I just posted a video about that today. I said the question that bothers me the most is people ask what motivates you, like what makes you stay motivated. It drives me crazy. I saw that. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't quite the question. I mean, it, but no, the, no, but, no, but it, it kind of is. How do you get it, back yeah. to it? It's like, well, if you're motivated enough to fucking w- want to do something, you'll do it without any fucking reasoning behind it. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. If it's, if it's like, if it's a prior, like exactly like I said, if it's a priority for you to get bigger or get in shape or whatever it is, your whatever your goal is, you already know what you have to do. Yeah. So you're going to yeah. do it. That's it. And if, if it's not a priority, you're going to fucking skip meals or eat shitty food or whatever it is. And if you fell off the wagon, that means you've done it before. So you know what to fucking do. Yeah. So it's yeah. even easier. Yeah. And also all of us, I think we all genuinely love to train. Mm-hmm. So our time out of the gym fucking kills us. Yeah. So if you're not motivated to get back into the gym after some time off, then you're probably doing it for the wrong reasons. Well, I can understand. I can understand the average person losing focus and then wanting to get back. Mm-hmm. I understand that. But what I'm saying is yeah. when you get back, if your coach or if yourself, you formulated a plan, like this is what I'm going to eat. This is what I'm going to train. There's not really any tricks after that. You just have to go mm-hmm. to the grocery store, get the right. fucking food and start preparing it. That's yep. it. Like there's mm-hmm. no, there's no real secret to how it's done. I just did. I just posted this in my stories like a couple days ago. Yesterday, it was yesterday. I got to the gym. I was like, I was sluggish all fucking day. I didn't yeah. want to train. I didn't want to do anything. And I was like, I just went to the gym and forced myself. And after like three sets, I was like, oh, I'm having a great workout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's always how it goes. And I just mm-hmm. crushed it. I crushed it. It was an awesome workout. So it's like, yeah. yeah. It's, just- it's also like if you know, we all have had 45 minutes or an hour of cardio that we didn't want to do the first minute of, but by the last minute. You're fucking glad you did it. I have had mm-hmm. cardios where I was literally counting the minutes. Oh yeah. Oh Those yeah. The fucking worse. How good did it feel when you got off that stair stepper? Yeah. It didn't feel good. No, it didn't feel good. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. How good is it when it's your last cardio session of a prep? Oh yeah. I always get off and I'm like, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm out. <laughs> like, no. fuck, you, know yeah. what, you know what I just remembered? Like, so I get little glimpses of like from my career back was like, when? yeah Way so back when? i was just thinking my worst cardio sessions are usually two days after training legs on super low fucking calories and my legs are fucking destroyed and they're fucking burning every step you every take step. every step and i used to turn I used, I used to be the meathead that was like i can only do the step mill i wouldn't mm-hmm. do the treadmill i wouldn't i was like i'm only doing the step mill yeah so, I'm on, the, so I'm on the step mill trying to get shredded <laughs> yeah, glutes yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, i did <laughs> Count I did minutes. every session this prep. This last prep, I did every session on the bike. Did you really? really? Yeah, I didn't do a single session on anything else. Other than I don't the bike. think now I realize now I know better, but I just had this mindset that unless I'm suffering to the absolute most possible, oh. I can suffer. It was like the Kai yeah. Green on the stairmaster, like mm-hmm. just yeah. crying. Yeah. 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 I remember. Mm-hmm. I remember being coached by Chad, 
and he would have me on like 50 grams of carbs and going in for my second session of cardio at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Nobody yeah. in the gym except one other person. Fuel getting central. On, yeah. Getting on the step mill and literally it, I could fucking time it. It would be at like 13 or 14 minutes. I would start to go hypo. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh fuck. I got 45 minutes of the shit. So I still got another half an hour to go. And That's literally, you know, you go hypo, right? So like yeah. I'm freezing cold, but I'm dripping sweat. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to get off. So I have the step mill on like level two and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> and you get sleepy too. Eh? And I, so I would finish, I would get off the thing. I'd be freezing and drenched. You know, the big styrofoam cups that you put protein powder, protein yeah. powder, their shakes in. I would go to the counter. They'd have coffee made. I would take that coffee, the big, big styrofoam cup. And I fill it halfway with coffee, put a couple of Splendas in it. And I would have to drink that to get home. Yeah, so I, like, those I would be tired and shivering, and I'm sugar like, sugar alcohol, like, because the sugar alcohol kicks you back. Maybe if maybe right. caffeine or something, you feel better. Caffeine yeah, enough to get you home. So, I've almost got hype. That happened to me. I slammed like a diet soda and came back to life a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's the best feeling, though, when you feel like you're gonna fucking fall off the stepper. Can I tell you, man? I love almost it. every day, because Chad had me on like a bunch of fucking white fish, and it was just a high protein, a little bit of fat, low, yeah. low, low carbs, and I'd go hypo every fucking night for like the last couple of weeks. Or three oh, weeks yeah. every fucking morning i woke up tighter for like yeah. the whole that whole last three weeks and i was like okay. yeah it's like yeah but you're right you know what when i would get off and i would get that styrofoam cup full of coffee oh there yeah. was a feeling of like for sure first of all i get to enjoy this coffee now because it's delicious i'm starving <laughs> <laughs> but it was also like yeah, you fucking did something. Yeah, the feeling of accomplishment, man. That's amazing. Well, because most people would just get off. They'd be like, oh, I'm hypo. I got to stop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I would be like, nah, I fucking did it anyway. Fuck that shit. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's the shit. That's the shit. <laughs> I almost, almost died, but feathering the cat. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Bing, bing. I mean, honestly, that's probably, that's probably why a lot of people just don't show up in shape because they don't push through those times. Because you fucking yeah. have to. Yeah. Well, I remember remember Joe Bennett. I oh, I was going to I was going to just say that. I was going to say his name. I, I remember said his that name. So I'm coaching this kid and I have him on the step mill, you know, doing 45 minutes or whatever. There's I probably walk. about 8,000 Joe Bennett's, by the way, in the world. Yeah. So yeah. Whatever. I was thinking hypertrophy coach. So if we're not talking about no, that. No, no, not hypertrophy. No, no, no. Okay. okay. So I walk in the gym and he's sitting at the fucking, in the front lobby. And I'm like, I thought you were supposed to be doing cardio. He's like, oh, you know, I did like seven or eight minutes and my feet hurt. So he got <laughs> off, he got off the step mill. He's sitting in the lobby eating a granola bar. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, what the nice. fuck? Like, he was hypo. He was hypo. <laughs> <laughs> not only is he not doing cardio, he's also eating a granola bar. I'm like, what the fuck? That's I remember a, that. That was the last day I trained that kid. I was like, I'm that bad. wasn't the first time. Though. I think that was the second or third time you caught him. Fred. Remember another time we, you saw him on the bike, like, what the fuck are you doing on the bike? I told him nothing but stairs. Then he like marched up there, like, what the fuck are you doing on the bike? I caught a client <laughs> once running on the street when he was supposed to be doing the stairs by I, in my car. <laughs> so I turned around and I rolled out my window. I go, nice looking stairmaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm helping a buddy of mine right now we were training legs and he comes back into the into the gym to grab his gym bag after he did his cardio and he's bone dry i go you after, just... le after legs no he's just did his cardio i'm, I'm training oh. legs and i asked him i said you, you do your cardio because yeah i just got done i said you don't have a fucking drip of sweat on you <laughs> he goes i was i was sweating when i was training <laughs> but yeah but you went and did cardio and dried up yeah that's how slow his cardio was yeah so i had to go i had to put him on the bike and show him what intensity to use and then next session he's dripping i would have said i had the fan on the fucking thing <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's how mental i am i can't even turn that fan on no i i hate that I, i'm like i'm like no that's wrong i gotta More suffer better <laughs> you thought you, you thought you'd get leaner <laughs> no like i just no it's not that i thought i'd get leaner i just i just had this oh. fucking mental block with like if it feels good it's wrong <laughs> You had to be dying in order to be fucking so like, like my that. sister, for example, right? I come home for dinner at my mom's on a Sunday for family dinner when I was competing. And my sister would be like, I'll make you chicken breast. And she made it for me once. And it was fucking delicious. I'm like, what'd you put on this? She's like, nothing. I use a little bit of lemon and a little bit of fucking spices and herbs or whatever. I'm like, this is no good. I can't eat it. There yeah. was no, there was no extra shit on it. But for some reason, because it was absolutely delicious, I was like, I can't eat it. Was yeah yeah no what i meant by the uh what i meant by that food i would remember another friend of ours <laughs> what'd you say guy it was made with love and you threw it out no i didn't throw it out i ate it but i just didn't go back again i was like no because i believed her she didn't put any oil or anything on it so i ate it but i was like i can't i can't do this i gotta have my chicken cooked my way i have to yeah. have my disgusting dry nasty ass chicken that's right that's or right. it ain't working 
And I, yeah. listen, for everybody listening, I'm not saying that's right. It was just the way my mind worked. Yeah. Back then. I now everybody's going to be like, Ma, fuck your chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm not getting weed, Ma. <laughs> uh, what's y'all's worst breakup? What's y'all's? I'm just reading what it says. <laughs> it's gonna, they're definitely from down south. What's y'all's worst breakup story? You're not even going to believe mine, so I'm not even going there. Oh, but guy, guy's got the best one, I'm sure. Well, I know part of guys, I think. Really? Oh, I do too, I think. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that's, but the one that you guys know is not the worst one. Okay. There's worse really? than that? Wow. Holy I, I met a girl. I'll put, it, I'll, put it, I'll put it different for this one. That had to have a last bite, and I dumped her. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, have you, Justin what's the, have you ever had a bad breakup? I had a girl that was uh, quit taking her birth control and was pretending to take her birth control. Oh, no. I was trying to get pregnant, she, and I caught her. So, like, I, she, she would just, like, conspicuously place the birth control, like, in the top of her purse, just, like, and then would just say shit, like, oh, I need to take my birth control. Really? Whatever. Why, you know, why are you fucking telling me? Well, she keeps leaving on her bag. So I, I look at the days and I watch it and I quit fucking her because I didn't trust her. I was like, that felt weird. Oh so I didn't fuck her for a fucking week. And I looked back, I dug through her purse. I found the birth control and she hadn't touched it. And then wow. she pulled, then she pulled the bullshit. Like she was pretending to take her birth control. And wow. yeah, I, I called her out. It wasn't good. How did you even, I wouldn't even notice. I fucking felt like it. I wouldn't I have either. It. I felt it because really, yeah. you know the whole relation. You cut out your sound cut out. Was falling apart. Wait, say that again. Your sound cut out for a second. Oh, I just said the whole relationship was just derailing. You could just feel it falling apart, and she was trying to hold on. So just you know, things were weird. I knew it, and then she started saying weird shit about birth control. So I just huh. started watching the birth control. And Good she for you. Was fucking taking it. Yeah. Wow, that's very. Um, what's the what's the word for it? Very aware. Very aware. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Aware. Yeah. Good for you. I, I knew. I, yeah, I was like, this bitch is you should, keep you should you should have you should have just banged her in the uh in the bum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the <laughs> Holy Paul would have said that. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just got blowjobs. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, she would have spit it out and <laughs> 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 seriously though she um, yeah she was trying to get pregnant yeah what's your worst yeah. my worst uh, there was one um wasn't that bad really um but just yeah um I, so i wanted to break up with this girl and uh but i was kind of chicken shit to do it um so what i did was i um i bought my first house and i didn't tell her and then i just told her i was like okay i bought a house i'm moving out and then uh, I was working midnights at the time, and yeah, like a day or two late. Because he's so uncomfortable. <laughs> well, he's so uncomfortable. careful. Uh, um, so, get, uh, so the first one, because uh, I know what he's, I know why he's uncomfortable. He's like, I know. Yeah, you know I, 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 <laughs> but anyways, uh, she just came to my house one morning. <clears throat> excuse me, and accused me of stealing her broom, and wasn't going to leave until she got her broom. Otherwise, she was going to throw herself out the window <laughs> and call the police and tell them that I did it. What the fuck? Oh, wow. Do yeah. I know this person? Uh, yeah. What's oh, her name? Tell What's me later. Name? I forgot. I, I, yeah, I'll text it to you if you want. Just, just draw out initials. Well, think about it. It's when I, when I bought my first house, so like roughly 20 years ago. There's still only two I'm thinking of. I'll yeah. ask you later. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the go, ahead, go ahead, guy. So I met a girl, went up to see her. I'm not going to say where. Hours away. And I visited her. She had a daughter. And while I was up, there, I'm not going to get into the whole thing, but the, that week, that three days I was up there, the next day, the father of the kid got fucking killed in a car accident while I was there. I remember this. Oh, yeah. Well, he told us this one. Go on. And then the daughter was only two. The father was like, I'm not like, not that good of a guy. Not that that mattered, but like, just like, whatever. And, right. and the daughter started calling me daddy. So for a year and a half, it was, I was dad, I was dad. And then uh, we got into one argument and we, she broke up out of the blue and I went into like a dark depression for like three months. Because <laughs> you lost the girl and the daughter though. Daughter. Yeah. It's that, that's, I, I was like, I'll never date somebody with a kid again. 
Yeah, I can see that being fucking hard. Yeah, if you get close. And to then the kids, other sure. one was what a what a, you, what a bummer of a story, guy. I know. Yeah, that was funny, guy. Wait, I'm wait hold on. Who had? Let me tell a funny you, story. What was the one you were thinking? I'll say two words, and I'll let you. I'll, I'll let you know if you can say it. Say two words that would know which one it is. Bug. Yes. <laughs> 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 we'll just leave it there out, <laughs> and not an insect no <laughs> okay uh, i had a, oh i know what you guys are talking about i had a i had a yeah x <laughs> bug my house that's crazy <laughs> that's terrifying that is it's literally yeah. terrifying that is tell yeah, them how you thought that, of that that it uh was, okay go it ahead it was a noise activated voice recorder so any sound that I made, it started recording. Like fucking CIA. And I found it because I was getting my wood floors redone. And I had to take my table apart in this room. And because it didn't fit through the, the door doorway. So I took the fucking tabletop off. And it was it looked like a flash drive. And it was sitting underneath the where the table met. And I thought it was junk. And I went to go throw it out. And my buddy's like, wait a second. Because I plugged into the computer. Nothing happened. Then my buddy plugged it into the uh, square of like a, like an app like a charger and it lit up the charge and then we plugged it into my computer I had 72 hours of different fucking voice notes on there. Jesus wow so it turned on every time you made a noise yep you heard there's me a bunch of farts just... <laughs> 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 72 hours was it just recording guy or was it like transmitting <laughs> it's not the FBI Paul well <laughs> she, had a, she had a piece in her ear it's a pretty it's a pretty high tech device that she's got he farted again <laughs> he, he got his way in he, he farted, farted again in. yeah we have eyes we have eyes yeah. <laughs> we have eyes on him uh um, hey okay. hey Fuad what did you think of that uh that that exercise I sent you oh you idiot <laughs> and then you tagged me in it like as if I've ever done it oh no <laughs> That's not the one I'm talking about, but yeah, oh, you had to, that you, guy, <laughs> yeah, should the guy at the medicine ball. Should we show that? Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Where is it? Did you send it to me? I sent it to you. Yeah, what's one up? Sec, one sec, one sec. I'm gonna show this. Is nice, abs- you can't send it to me, huh? This is absolutely. I'm sorry, buddy. This is cool, absolutely. Check, check, check I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's got to focus. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? He looked, he looked right at me right there. Did he? Oh, you're filming yeah, this? He hesitated. Yeah, I filmed it. I just, the best, the I, just best part. This, I just did this and went. <laughs> did you ask him what he's doing? No, I just left him alone. That's I'm awesome. Like, excuse me, I've never seen that exercise. Can, can you yeah, I, actually, me and, my, me and my training partner went over there and be. We uh, beat the shit out of him, guy. <laughs> yeah, we jumped him. My training partner was hitting me over the head. He tried standing up. I kicked him in the chest. <laughs> My stories are crazy, but true. <laughs> but yeah, that's wait, wait, that, who had single arm pull down thing. I no. sent you a fucking bit. Hold on. Guy has backed up all his stories so far. I, hold on, Justin. If you, you're not you're not in our group chat, so <laughs> well, well, add me. I'll, I'll add you. Okay. Just just for reference, because I know everybody seems to think my stories are nonsense. I was at an event this weekend. I mean, they might be factual, but some of them are. The owner of the gym <laughs> of the flight where it happened was there. I happened to be doing a seminar today. And this gentleman right here is the <laughs> owner of the old Staten Island powerhouse gym where I beat the shit out of the kid. So- <laughs> <laughs> At the front desk, hanging out, and all of a sudden I hear guys in a fight downstairs. So I jumped down, and uh, it was on the floor. And guys were playing into it pretty good. I actually had to jump on guys' back, like you know, and try to pull them off. But it was, it was it's like pulling a pit bull off that kid. Man. Was, Don't ever question my fucking story. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> That's awesome. You told uh, that guy to say that shit. Yeah. Can't give you, hey, bro, yeah you greased him up. You paid him. Yeah. 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 It's a quick story. Can you get it right? Yeah. 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 All right. Your wife is watching. Yes. Guy, guy pretend to it's when you're married. Okay. You're one inch inside your ex to the front, and your best mate is one inch in you from behind. Are you moving forward or backwards? Oh. Wait. What? Trouble people. Wait, say it again. What, hey, th- these, this is the stupid. Hold on. Say it again. No, we're going to answer it, Justin. Okay, I'm going balls deep in the I'm sweating. 
Your wife is watching. You're one inch inside your ex to the front. Your best mate is one inch in you from behind. Are you moving forward or backward? Press it on the gas. <laughs> going I'm going all going in. Forward. I'll deal with the I'll deal with the fight with my wife yeah. afterwards. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? If she was on the other foot, I hope she'd be doing the same. <laughs> um, what kind of weird scenario is that? Yeah, that's my call, call weird enough to, be, to hesitate. Mm. If you guys had zero health problems, injuries during your career, how much more would y'all achieve, have achieved? For example, Fuad, if you weren't injured after 2017, Arnold, do you think you could have won a couple more shows, et cetera? Uh, for me specifically, yeah, I think I could have won a couple more shows. I think I think I was kind of on a roll because I beat um, – what's the fucking black guy's name from Chicago with all the guns? Michael Lockett. Michael Lockett. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I beat Michael Lockett. <laughs> it's funny that that's like the, the description. <laughs> Black dude with the guns. <laughs> but it's even funnier that they both knew what I was talking about. <laughs> no, I beat him in 2015 and he went on in 2016 to win like every, every fucking small show that year. Yeah. And I don't think he looked very different than the year before. So I think uh, had I not had any injuries, I think I probably could have knocked out a few more in 16 I easily could have. Yeah. What about, about you, Paul, if you never tore that peck? Well, yes, I, I did beat Ben Pekulski before. Somebody and, asked uh, me Somebody asked me this the other day. Sorry, Paul, to cut you off. Somebody asked yeah. me this the other day about Paul when you weren't around. And I I had a chance to talk shit about you, but I didn't. Really? I said, yeah, for, one, for, one, for once. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. No, I, I, I forget who I was talking to. I really do. But we were having a serious conversation. And I said, oh, I think it was Michael, my brother-in-law. And I said, I think Paul probably could have went pro if he put all his eggs in one basket. Yeah, but, maybe. Um, you know, just because we've had this conversation before on the podcast yeah. where we people either decide to take the risk yeah. or some people decide they want a career first. Yeah, and that was the latter, Yeah, for sure. But yeah. I, think you had a good, I think you had a good enough physique to turn pro had you like thrown all your eggs in one basket from 19 or 20 on. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, who knows, right? But yeah, I think I would have at least, you know, did better than I did if I would have stayed injury free and took more risk maybe, or, you know, or went all in at least. Um, let's see. Do you have any pictures of Paul anywhere? I sent you some before. I don't think there's any pictures of Paul on Google. Or also, yes, there is. Google. I just, I just typed in Paul Lowe's on Bodybuilder. This is the only thing Google's that came up. Did you hit images? Yes, I hit images. This is all that comes Nothing up. Nothing comes up. This is what comes up. Yeah, hey, that's me. Yeah, that's you. Because there's yeah. none of your, your physique shots are, go, are not. Uh, go down. Yeah, there used to be some. I'm fucking going down, man. There's none. There's you here. Me and you doing a photo shoot. Yeah, yeah, that's me. That's the last. Uh, I look good in that picture there for me, the back yeah. shot. Yeah, there's your back. Yeah. The little, lats uh, are little lats are missing. Uh, there's another one. You got the leg extension one? I look good in that shot. I don't know. I can't find I'll it. Send it to you. I'm telling you. Uh, well, it's been a while since I competed. I'm not trending anymore. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's that? Where? Right there at the top left. Yeah, right oh, there. Oh, there he is. Yeah, whoa. Who's that guy? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't. I thought you had pictures on here, Paul. I did. On my phone, I do. Google must have got rid of them. You're too old. <laughs> no, if I do it on my phone, I they still come up. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I knew. I think you had uh, potential. So this guy's, what was the question again? Injuries. <clears throat> oh, we're in. Okay. Yeah. Guy, what about you? How long would you have gone on if you didn't? Yeah. Your yeah, shoulders was, didn't get in the way. I was cranking 14, 15, 16. I was killing everybody. Your shoulders were the main problem, right? Yeah. You had shoulder, double shoulder surgery. What year? Well, I had shoulder. Well, I had my right one done in 08 first. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Then I had double in 18. Wow. So you had the right one done and you still did awesome. And then you had both of them done in 18? Yeah. So you, had right, you had to have the right one done again. Yeah. Well, what was it, guy? Rotator cuff? Well, the first one, well, I, had a, I had a partial labrum tear and an impingement and like all the non bursitis in this one. And then that's what I had. And then this, the second one, it was a tenodesis procedure where they cut your bicep tendon, which is why I lost my, uh, like my arm size a little bit. Yeah. And they cut your bicep tendon away from your labrum and they reattach it in your humerus. Okay. 
So what about is, is that the only are those the only two major injuries you had, guy, or did you tear anything else? Yeah, and and it sucks because like I look back and I played football for 15 years and I played middle linebacker and running back and those positions you get hit every fucking play. Yeah, like every fuck. So my shoulders got banged up like bad, and I played college ball, which is like. It's not NFL, but from going from high school to college is like going from like driving a Prius to like a fucking NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. As hard as you get hit. So that fucking yeah. killed me. But yeah, I think I could have, you know, because I started 14, 15, and 16, I started breaking up in the Olympia ranks, you know, and I was, I was beating, I beat David Henry. I was beat, I beat Jose Raymond. That's so huge. You know, fucking, that's fucking huge, eh? Like being Dave Henry yeah. is a big fucking, yeah. Guy. Jose yeah. Raymond, too. Yeah. Yeah. I was your highest placing guy at Olympia. Set only see back sixth. Why, you if you're beating, oh, six the Olympia. But wait a minute, if you're beating Jose and David Henry, why was it six? I beat David Henry at the Olympia of one year, and then I beat uh Jose Raymond right after the Olympia one year. Was it just that you didn't come in at your best at the Olympia, or what was no, it? The, the, my best was 2016. I thought I was gonna uh, I thought I was gonna take second. Ashkani yeah. took second, and I got eighth. I was blown away. Yeah. Politics. <laughs> I never, for some reason, the Olympia, That's I never got a look. I, I took fourth at the Arnold twice, um, yeah. but I could never break up. I don't know why. I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know about you. I heard this in my career. So I did a show. I'm not going to mention where or what show it was, but I heard afterwards from people that know, so-and-so judge just doesn't like your physique. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, and I, and I know Paul, Paul has said to me that happens and it's not like a vindictive thing they just actually no. don't don't like the physical appearance of your physique yeah right yeah, well listen so. when, when we critique physiques you know we're biased based on what we look at and what we like yeah yeah it's the same yeah. thing that we do I try not to be though like you know this this Phil Heath thing is going on because I said I like Kevin wow. Lavroni's most I said I like Kevin Lavroni's most muscular more than Phil Heath's and people keep sending it to me saying, what about this one? What about that one? Like they sent me different shots. And I, I never said that Kevin Lavroni's most muscular is better than Phil Heath. Yeah, I said, I like, like I like it better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm able to objectively look at them and say Phil Heath's is better. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if right. we're talking about preference, that's a different different thing yeah. altogether, right? I feel exactly yeah. the same way. And uh, I, think, I think you're right. That shot is Kevin's shot. Yeah, that's just the way. My favorite, I, I know you that's like what I, Every time I hit that shot, I think of Kevin. Every I think a, I think a lot of people do. Uh, maybe, but maybe it's our era too, Justin, because we're yeah. you know you're 34, I'm 40, right? 43. Mm -hmm. You mean the I hands together, most muscular? Yeah, the hands clasped. Oh yeah, that's iconic on the right, road because there's jumps and arms. What year do you think you look the best? Me personally, like what show? Yeah, My you. favorite show is the Houston Pro 2009, but I don't think objectively in bodybuilding is there a standards. Video of it? Yeah, I don't or, think or in, a picture or in bodybuilding like a, like a standards, it's not. In bodybuilding standards, they said I was too small, but in sixteen foot? No, no. In uh, in oh oh eight, I did the oh, early uh, on, yeah, the Houston Pro. But you're more aesthetic back then, probably. I, I like the way I looked better back then. Yeah. Let's see if I can bring it up. Yeah, here it is. Uh, this is this is my favorite. That was the year you did Olympia. Yeah. I like looking at this shit. Fuck, you look good. Yeah. Dude, me and you make very similar facial features on stage. Because we're both angry. <laughs> <laughs> you look good, bro. Yeah, you look really fucking good. That's my favorite look. I still feel like I had all my lines. Like, my stomach that hasn't blow wasn't blown out yet. Like, You're uh, rock hard, huh? Yeah. That was... I'll tell you guys a story about this afterwards. Just to hold so, on, we need, we need to finish this. This was before I got rid of my gyno, so a little bit of a little bit of gyno here. That's before you obliterated your tricep. Yep. Gnarly, huh? I feel like this physique would almost be rewarded more now. I, yeah, totally, I totally think so. It, would. Yeah. it definitely to would. Totally would. Yeah, that's, that's, great, a, that's one of your best shots, I think. In the early early two thousands, it was more mass yeah. game, but now yeah. it's more aesthetics. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you look fucking incredible there. Honestly, thanks, man. 
So that's my favorite look, but that's not what the judges thought. 2015 was the, what the judges rewarded me for, but. No, no, but, uh, but you're right, Fuad, at that, at that time, the emphasis was more on size. Yeah, so not, when I was done on that, aesthetics. when I was done that, they were like, yeah, your legs aren't big enough. You're not big enough. I took, yeah. I ended up taking seventh at that show. That's crazy. <clears throat> um, so the crazy story was we, I was training, I was working with Chad. We insulin loaded for that show. I walked out there like that. I felt like you guys ever hit your peak, like right on. And you feel you like, just you know just, it. you're like, I'm going to kill everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I get out there and I don't know if you could tell by my posing, but I felt confident. really, really confident. Oh, yeah. right? So then we go off and that, that, at that time, that was at the period of time where everybody got to come out for a minute by themselves. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I was first cause my last name, 26 other guys go after me. I think it was 26 or 23, something like that. You were probably ready to rock and roll for posing. Dude. So 20 minutes go by or 25 minutes, whatever go by. I totally fucking spilled. Oh shit. All of a sudden I'm pumping up backstage. I can't Nothing. feel, I can't feel anything. I'm like, Ugh. what the fuck? If Start eating? Look, no. If, if you look at that video and then you look at the next round, the it's fucking, the, the conditioning looks totally different. So I think that's why I placed where I placed. So I end up in the second call out. And I went out that night. I was fucking pissed. I was furious. I ate all this shit. I call Chad, tell him. He's like, take another half a fucking, I think we were taking Demodex. I woke time. up in the morning looked insane. The next day I fucking killed it. I fucking looked awesome, but I still didn't, still didn't place where I wanted to place, but they just said I was I, too small. Type in New York Pro 2014. New York pro. That was probably the most confident I ever was because when you said that, I was like, yep, I know. Exactly I think I, I think we watched the posing of that. New York pro. No, we did the Arnold. 2016? 14. 14. Oh, 2014. One sec. One second. And boom. And I, I didn't win this. <laughs> okay. Is it this one? One of them. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Yeah. They're both the same. Look how full you are there. Dude, I yeah. was fucking. It, crazy. Look how different you look, man. You look jacked <laughs> as fuck there. Right? Wait to see my back, bro. Yeah. Like if this, if I still had this. <laughs> yeah, I always wonder that forever. I always wonder if like I could still look like I looked in 2008 where I would place now or. Yeah, look at that smart. Isn't it great? It's great being young, yeah. eh? Fucking clean muscle. Yeah. No fucking tears. No fucking... This doesn't last long enough. Oh, I got a good 10 years out of mine. Yeah. I had, arm, boy, I had arms back then. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> full biceps. Yeah, you're fucking blasting full of your chest. Watch yeah. this. Yeah. Eh, it's a little uh, underwhel well. underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like good. That's a good look. That was one of my favorite looks of all time. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is an impressive guy. Yeah. Yeah. Shoulders are big and round. Everything's good. Shoulder. You want that shirt? Watch, watch how caught. Watch, watch how amped up I am. Yeah. You're like, I'm for sure going to win. Where did you place? Yeah. <laughs> he knocks over the sign on the way out. <laughs> where, uh, where did you place at that show? What happened on my screen? Who beat you? Second. Who beat you? Aaron Clark. Really? Aaron Clark was good back then, though. In his early, when he first, yeah. When he first early came on, he, he was really thick. And I got pissed off and went to Toronto the next week. And there was the biggest 212 show was 30 guys. I won that one. Yeah. Huh. No, but Aaron Clark was good, though. That's not like you. Yeah. He, yeah. When he first came before, his stomach started to get a little blown out as he went on. But in the beginning, he was good was, in like 14, 15, and then 16, he just, that was, he was. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, he was good for a couple years. And it was a, it's a quick decline. Justin's The Last Nationals, your favorite show? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, what I would, I think if I could do it all over again, I wouldn't have listened to them. Hmm? Right. I think and if I could do it all, size. yeah, I think if I could do it all over again, I would have just maybe perfected my physique a little more and not, not chased the mass. I just Where'd wanted to, I, I was 238 at that, and that then, video. And what was the heaviest you compete at again? 258. So 20 more pounds, eh? Yeah. Yeah. In Orlando, yeah, in, in Orlando, when you were there, I was 258 yeah. at that show. You were 258 that one? Yeah. So I but I wouldn't have I would have I would have went a, if I could do it all over again, I would have went a little slower. 
Yeah. I would I would have just ate the losses because I was more confident. Like I would have just been like the smaller guy who's shredded all the time and has nice lines. Yeah. And, and just played that game. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. Uh okay, we'll do a couple more. How long does it take to go through a stick of deodorant? Hmm. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say two like months. Yeah. I was, I was gonna say a month. Three months. Eight to twelve weeks. Eight to twelve weeks. <laughs> what is it? Pre contest diet? <laughs> Two or three months. I think a month. I go through probably one a month. Oh, really? You go that fast? What? I put a lot. I put it on. What do you I, use? I, I lather the shit and I shower. Not in there. Is I'm it the dial? Put, put some on my balls. Yeah. Oh god. Really? In his butt crack. <laughs> I got what my. Use? I got my Manscaped ball deodorant for my balls. Use code RB. You already. You already and know. Then, which guy. <laughs> and then I use my axe for my armpits. What is it? Who is it? Uh, the roll on, or is it uh, where you got to dial it and get the wall? Yeah, the clear stick, not the roll on. Who? What am I? Is nineteen eighty? Not, not, not roll on. There's these ones where you dial the bottom and the and, the, and it shoots out these holes in the top. Gel? Oh, yeah. the gel? Nah, gel is gross. Work. It's that's not like really a gel. Like a, Paul uses like a gel. gel. Look, Paul used a gel. He just thought we really. It's not really a gel. That's, that's the best stuff. That's like it claws my claws my pores completely. It's like somebody licks your fucking armpit. You don't want that shit It dries. It hardens. No. I feel like you're the guy that would use the white well, deodorant and then have like cream, cream cheese pit. <laughs> it hard to wear it. Got a nice ball of gel in my armpit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With a white armpit. Nice, yeah. nice cement rock under my armpit. <laughs> Get the clear stick, no. man. Old Spice Pure Sport. Check me. Axe. <clears throat> I use the axe clear clear stick. Axe oh, sport. You don't know how to use an axe. Huh? I don't know how to use an axe better than you. I've seen you chop wood. You don't even know how to use an axe. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a pure sport guy as well. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. Old Spice. Yeah. It's a classic. Yeah, Old Spice. Yeah. I can't do it. I the really only Old why? Spice I've ever seen is the white, the white stick. No. Yeah. I'm not- no. no, not the white stick. Do you use the white stick? Yeah, the white stick. Yeah, you gross, got, you got like that. Those like cream cheese. No, no, yeah. cream, oh, cheese. Yeah. cream cheese. <laughs> Want to see it? You got, you got load pits. See it. <laughs> I'm, I'm. Look how fat you are right now. Gross. <laughs> Lower. We have, no, we have no armpit hair, so there's no yeah. there's no cream cheese. There's no cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I get. You gotta go clear. Yeah, you didn't look very good. Suck balls. <laughs> it's a little chubby. It's okay. No, you look good. It's all the little abs. Um, doing a prep on a ton of food, but the but they taste horrible, or on minimum food, but taste awesome. Minimum food, food. over the next. I'd rather do a ton of food that tastes horrible because when you're fucking yeah. hungry, eventually it tastes good. Yeah, I agree. I hate starving. Mm-hmm. Nope, I don't like eating. Uh, how important is your mindset? Did you have a moment, a moment in your career where you felt your mind really changed and helped you lock in? Hmm? Mindset's fucking everything. Yes. I just did a fucking post about this. It's actually, yeah. it's actually the most important thing. Yeah, I would totally agree. Out of everything. everything. Your trajectory fully relies on your mindset and how far you believe you're going to make it. I literally... I think- I literally Everything I have right now, yeah. I have because I told myself I could have it. I never told myself I couldn't. You know what's funny? I Everything I have in my life, I pictured myself having, and that yeah. includes the losses, too. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Like, it's weird. Like, uh, it, it's like, you know, people say, like, don't think negative thoughts or whatever because they come true also. It's actually fucking true. Like, oh, it's fucking true for sure. All the things I thought I wasn't going to get, the losses at shows or fucking injuries, or all those things ended up fucking coming true. But all the good things came true also. Yeah. So it's like, and I just said this in a previous post, like I never did well at the bigger shows, but I never believed I would do well at the bigger shows. I never right. fucking, all I, when I turned pro, I was like, I just want to win a couple of small shows. And I did. And that's like, I just, I put, you put your own limitations on yourself, man. So it's like, absolutely. Yeah. Mindset is fucking everything. I don't want to say anything because if I was going to say, I'm fucking setting up for motivational Machiavelli. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> no, just, just spare us guy. We're okay. <laughs> Give it to us guy. You have 60 seconds. No, I'm good. Go. Next well, Cause question. it cuts off after 60 seconds. So well, I want to, I want to hear a guy has to say, man, I, I want to be motivated for tomorrow's. Oh, I just posted about it. It's the same shit. Say it again, but do it in the Machiavelli voice. 
<laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't wait to go trade tomorrow. <laughs> times in life. Uh, is it worth sacrificing everything to win in life? No. No. Definitely Maybe. not. Well, what do you I mean, mean what, what do you say everything? Let me sacrifice my relationships with all my family and friends and my wife. And I'm going to say maybe. But what's winning in life mean? Well, I think to me, winning in life means getting the things you want. Cars, well, to me, it means being happy. Yeah, but that that makes you for some people. That's what makes them happy is getting the things they want. What I don't necessarily. I don't necessarily mean materially. I mean, uh, in the job, in your endeavors, like in your career, like I don't mean just materially. I mean everything you want. So, like, well, but that would include friends and family too, though. If that's what you want, some people that's not some some people that's not the most important thing. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So I'll ask it again: Is, it, is it worth? It? Is it worth it to sacrifice everything? No. And to win in life? No. No. I'm still going to say maybe. Yeah, I'm but saying, sacrificing everything implies that you sacrifice everything you currently have. Well, that's right. why I was going to preface it with it depends on the period of time in life that you ask me. Now. No. No. 10 years ago. No. Really? 15 years ago, yes. Okay. Yeah, but you would sacrifice relationships with your family. I did. To an extent. You still had relationships with your family, your mother, your brothers, yeah? Yeah, I mean, to an extent, yeah. you're right. But I would have done... Man, I would have fucking done anything. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm in a phase right now where I'm. But you're not because you're married, and there's no way you would sacrifice your marriage. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I I wasn't married yet, so okay. if you ask me when I was 25 or 26, I lost friends. You know, me and oh, yeah. me and family didn't always agree on everything. I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. So yeah, at that point in your life, yeah. I think it depends on the point you're asking the person. Mm, I agree. But ultimately, I think you guys are right. I don't think. Yeah. Because I think if you win in life, but you're not winning with anybody, it's kind of a fucking lonely feeling. Yes. But you don't feel like then you're not winning. Yeah. At least when you get to be a certain age. Maybe. If I, I didn't, if I didn't, yeah. didn't like, like when I won the Orlando, I called Paul on stage and he came on stage yeah. with me. Yeah. Like that, the, you know, if you're not doing that, not necessarily that thing, but if you have no one to call and, fa- and, and, cheer on like and be happy with or go to dinner with or celebrate with yeah and you're kind of like what the fuck am i doing yeah they, i actually I'll, think it's i used to think it was sad sometimes that i'd be judging a show and there'd be a competitor there like by himself with no friends or family I yeah it feels bad for him that. yeah you yeah. see that quite a bit it's, yeah like, backstage guys that are just completely by themselves yeah because that's a big moment for somebody to have nobody there to share yeah. like, that's sad guy are you okay yeah i'm listening okay i thought you were having a moment i'm listening i thought you were having a moment is, I don't know. Have you been to shows by yourself? <laughs> I mean, try travel the world. My friends everywhere, guys. Different. No, I've, I've been it all over the world. I, I, ha, 90% of the people I know travel that, like, those periods alone. I know. Yeah. yeah. That's I met, like, an amateur show where you get someone doing their first show and they have no friends or family. Yeah. That's that's that. I tried but I would, like, like that. when I traveled alone, it was like I was traveling with my boys because we were all friends. Yeah. Right. You have friends there. So, well, I yeah. never really, like, when I was traveling, it was Jose, it was Flex, it was David, it was this one, it was Branch, it yeah. was fucking, it, I, I knew them all. Dexter, yeah. Victor. Yeah. I trained, a, I trained a kid once who was doing the provincials. It was, like, the biggest deal in the world to him. And I didn't realize it. And I called him the night before the show to talk about what he was going to eat and do and whatever. And I, he, I found out he was by himself. And it fucking just, it like hurt my feelings for him. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, man, this guy's got to fucking shave his back by himself and like tan himself. And like, I don't know. It's just, I've always had my wife there or a girlfriend. A friend or something. Or, yeah. A friend yeah. or something. Yeah. 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 My wife's been at all my shows. Do, pla- do black people get tanned for a show? Yes. Yes. Uh, if you had to choose one of the guys from Bro Chat or Bodybuilding Bulls to tag. <sighs> Shit, I shouldn't have read it. <laughs> was it was, it, was, it, was, it, was the next word tag team? Yeah, yes. tag, yeah, tag team your wife. Fucking nobody. Let's <laughs> oh god. I'm so glad I don't have a wife. This is the best question. <laughs> <laughs> I am so scot free, and I can't wait for you guys to answer it. Who'd you pick? Nobody's guy? You're, fucking my you're, wife. You're, you're all answering it. And but I'm if you had to it. pick someone to fuck your wife. I don't have a If wife. I had, if I actually had, no, you don't, I don't, I'll never if have, you to, have to pick, you have a, have a gun to your head, Justin, you have to pick someone or we're going to shoot you. 
Or you're off the podcast. Okay, so you said, you said tag team. So there's yeah. multi- multiples. No, it's you and someone else. It's you and oh, someone else. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So, so it's not a cuckold situation. Where no. I'm, I'm <laughs> watch, watch, watching you and Ian. No, no. It's you and, and a buddy. You and someone else. <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, oh, man. I know I'm not picking guy. I know I'm not picking guy. Well. But yeah, but guy, you know, he's so clean he doesn't even have to smell his balls before he <laughs> has sex. <laughs> he knows it's squeaky clean. I'm not Andy, picking Paul. I'm Andy's picking probably because of your best friend. It would be weird. You have to see her like the next day. Yeah, so I weird. don't. I don't know any of you guys. I'm good. picking James. <laughs> James, he'd be a gentleman. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I think he'd James, be treated nice. I think James would be gentlemanly and he would be fast. Yeah, and he'd be delicate. I think. I'm he not picking her. Ben. I'm not picking fucking Nick. I'm not no. picking Ian. No. no. Roman. No, no definitely no. not Roman. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to bring his anal beads. Yeah. <laughs> anal chain. Anal chain. Anal chain. Yeah. That's a nice guy. Brett might be a gentleman. Brett might be a gentleman. Yeah. I still think James will finish the fastest, though. James he's, will finish the fastest, and he'll... Yeah. Be he's, admitted to being very, he's admitted to being very fast. Really? Because he could just play their feet, probably. Yeah. He might just get off on our feet. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Like James, yeah. you bang her, you bang just, her feet. I'll just fuck the wife. <laughs> you just massage her feet. <laughs> All right, James is the James is the winner. Um, okay, last question. I'm sure James will be flattered to hear that. <laughs> 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 Who has the biggest quads in bodybuilding? Ronnie, God. Ronnie, or Rami? Rami. Coleman or a big Rami? I think Rami. I would say Rami. Rami. I like Ronnie's better because they're more detail. But uh, I like the shape of Ron, I like the shape of Coleman's better because they sweep off the hip more. They, yeah. they start they start at the very top of his hip. Yeah. Yeah, Rami, yeah. I feel like has a bigger quad. Agree, yeah. agree. The diameter is probably bigger, but I like Coleman's look of his quads. Oh, was the question Agreed. bigger or better? No, bigger, bigger, okay. bigger than Rami's. You know who has insane quads? Is that Jonathan Withers kid? Yes, he does. He does. I can't wait till he competes. Nice. Insane. If he's, he's, done two, yeah. he's done two shows. Yeah, that's it. His whole life. Yeah, he wow. did a show and then he turned pro. It really? Yeah, have, I know he's uh, made his quads on that kid are, are. I mean, I gotta have him on the podcast, man. He's yeah. he's a military guy too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's just starting his career. I mean, what what could that kid's legs look like at the end of a ten year career? Is he doing a show this year? Yeah, he's doing. I think he's doing Boston. I'm gonna no, show no, no. Oh, is he? I'm going to no, show which everybody one, who we're talking to. Wait, I'm going to show everybody who we're talking about just so they can see what we're talking about. I mean, that most muscular. I mean, what the fuck? Jeez. What the fuck? He gets that upper body to match. Yeah. People are, people are in trouble. That's wild, yeah. huh? That's from the, yeah. side, from the side. He's got incredible legs. When did he turn pro? Uh, last year, last I think. Last year at Nationals. Yeah, that's his first show on the left. It's pretty Look good. how they cut. That's crazy. Yeah. Look at that fucking shit. Fuck. Jeez. <laughs> That's like fucking. Look at this look pumped. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> it's fucking nuts. Love it. We could eat. Look, look at that picture. We could eat. In the back, they're good too, man. Look at the fucking. Yeah, no, they're really yeah. they're good all the way around. Good calves, low insertions. That's hard too, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah, he yeah he was peel. He won the overall at nationals in twenty. Yeah, I remember that. Mm-hmm. He's a big fucking boy, eh? Yeah. It's a good physique, man. Yeah, he's good. He just needs to fill out the back a little bit, maybe a little bit of the chat. All this needs to come up a little bit. But yeah. once it does, man, holy fuck! And that's like a year and a half ago or so. Yeah, I can only imagine what he's done this offseason. Yeah, he took a he took a full year off. Yeah. Look at the fucking yeah, look, look at this development on the side. Jesus yeah. Christ! Yeah, crazy. look at the separation here. Then the glute hamstring. Oh, look how crazy his quad pops out. I know. I know. It's wow. insane. Yeah, he's gonna be a very good pro. Yeah, that's good the real for you, pro. man. Good for you. We look forward to seeing you. Get them on the podcast soon. We'll have a good conversation about. Yeah. I'm always interested in fucking uh, military guys. I always yeah. like to hear the stories of how they fucking how that all goes. Okay, last question. He's doing indie, by the way. I think. Okay. Yeah. Um. Never be able to wear shoes again, or never be able to wear socks again. Well. Socks. Socks. Yeah, you gotta have shoes. That's yeah, an easy that's, one. That's the question sucks. Okay, that question sucks. Fucking stupid question, Fred. <laughs> Hold on. Who would rather fuck a chick with no pussy but get 
but <laughs> great. What? Oh no, wait. With no ass, but great pussy, or terrible pussy, but nice ass. Uh, I don't really uh, know. Like I, I was gonna say something. Forget say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. <laughs> what? what? I don't. Ra- I don't rate pussies like that. Yeah. Like a fucking pussy. I, I, the I rate it, I, I rate it on the amount well. of meat that's hanging out of the bread. Yeah. I've, I, yeah. We've all seen. <laughs> But not even. I, I, rate, I don't even want to get into this conversation. We can get in trouble. Yeah. Ask another question. No, we can still ask this question. I just don't want to go further with that part of yeah, it. I hate when a chick has no butt. It's not my thing. Yeah. Hey, I'm with you, you Justin. Rather, you rather a fucking sloppy hatchet wound over? Yeah. What if, what if you can't? What if you? Dude, can't I got a. It? I got a fucking weapon. I need a. I need it to be. A <laughs> no, you don't. Anybody who says I have a weapon doesn't have a weapon. All right. <laughs> So confident. He's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> that was the most confident dick <laughs> I've ever seen. Uh, he might be packing, bro, like Bo Lewis style. No, nobody's not quite like that. Uh, uh, nobody wants to pack. Like, I bet I bet that dude's bummed every time he tries to get a blowjob. Yeah, think about that, really. Seriously. Right? Like you just like get the tip. <laughs> <laughs> and you take your dentures out. <laughs> but even if it wasn't a blow, even just to fuck a girl, he probably only puts out oh, yeah. the tip. Yeah. It's like a sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> Squash. It's just a big <laughs> no longer an eggplant. It's real sweet potatoes. Um, <laughs> no, I got, a go- pe- I got a piece. <laughs> okay. We believe you. <laughs> I mean, <can't> <laughs> Making sure we know. I'm packing. Uh, I'm packing. True. I'm packing. Yeah. <laughs> Are you done? You want to tell us again? <laughs> but seriously, it is pretty big. It's <laughs> such an idiot. All right, come on, let's go. Next question. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to finish bragging about your little dick. <laughs> about my huge dick. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's gonna get nose emojis on his page. <laughs> just the yeah. eggplants from now on. <laughs> I'm good with my axes and wood. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even know how to swing an axe. Uh, what makes a good bodybuilder, in your opinion? There's so much, so much of it. So it's like such an a, hour question, such a bro. big question. It's just yeah. such a it's just such a crazy skill you have to develop. <laughs> <laughs> Requires no skill, but a lot of talent. Yeah. Where do I find a coach like Ian? Message Ian. <laughs> uh, movie you want to see made into a TV show or a TV show? Oh, have you guys seen the new fucking Reacher? No. Show? What? Have you seen Jack Reacher, the movie? No. With Tom Cruise? No. No. Neither of you seen yeah, Jack Reacher? They just did an Amazon show, right? No. Is that like John Wick kind of? Holy fuck. Justin, have you seen Jack Reacher? No. Oh my God! What the fuck am I? Where are you guys? The bro chat. I never heard of that. Okay, man. I, you guys. Are I'm. Of, I'm aware of it. You guys are totally it, fucking. With me. Is he like an action hero? Like a. Yeah, an action hero. Actually, cool. I think I. Ha- I think I have seen. Is there, <laughs> there's. Are there multiple Jack Reachers? Dustin, stop there's sucking two. up your boss. All right. Okay. I've never seen. It. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, this movie. No clue. Never seen this. No. Okay. Forget. Forget. I said anything. Else. For those of you listening, you should check out the uh, Reacher on Amazon. It's a show now. They made it into a show. But you it's guys haven't Cruise. seen the movie, so it's irrelevant. Okay. We've got homework to do. <laughs> uh, for all of you, what's something you think you have gained as a result of the podcast? Followers. <laughs> yeah, fuck. yeah. Paul's got 12,000 followers now. I do now. Thanks, yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. I was going to do one of those, uh, you know. Thank you, Post. I got ulcers. No, you don't. <laughs> You're still relevant. That's what you got. Who? You. Yeah. <laughs> You're retired. Dude, still, I, You're more still, pop. You're more popular now than you were in that 2014 you are video. Fucking crazy. No, I'm not. I'm still, <laughs> he, he, who I think I am? I'm still shadow banned. What do you mean? My You're, followers have not. I don't moved. care about your followers. Oh. More people. Listen, you proved it to me when you said you were sitting with Jay Cutler. It's Sergio Oliva Jr. 
And the fucking waitress. I came, knew this was going to backfire. Waitress. I should have kept my fucking. Yeah, you're I welcome, tried, guy. I tried. <laughs> hey, thank you. I tried to get the waitress. One little fucking, one little tidbit. <laughs> good. And he's got to fucking come back full circle. The waitress, Paul, confused. comes yeah. to the table, doesn't even look at Jay, doesn't even look at Sergio. Doesn't know who he looks is. at Paul, or she looks at at, at uh, guy, and she guy. she looks at guy, and she goes, "Hey, you're from Bro Chat. I like, <laughs> I love you. Can we take a photo together?" And, and she gives her phone to Jay to take a, to take oh, a picture of her yeah, guy. It, She's it, like, "Here, Jake, here, here, buddy. Can you take a photo?" She of goes, me she goes <laughs> "Your guy, sister Nino. You're my favorite on the Bro Chat." See, he, <laughs> he put notice how he put Bro Chat before my name to try to, <laughs> to make Bro Chat more relevant than my name. He's such a little fucking lion scumbag. <laughs> well, I told you, Fred. When I was in Mexico, someone came up me. Yeah. And said that they recognize you from the road chat. What did they recognize? They just thought me on, on Fuad's uh, podcast. The they seen the nose coming. They seen the, see the nose. Yeah, yeah, that's where you probably recognize you from. <laughs> like, no one can be that red. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. this is in Mexico in the sun. Last so question. Last question. I'm starving. Three dinner party guests, celebrities only past and present. Who you, who are you inviting? Only, Only past and present, no future ones. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't know. It's just that's what it said. I'm just reading them. Give me a look. Three dinner guests that are what? Genghis Khan. The, yeah, but what are you going to talk about? You, a, I'm, you I'm assuming we have. I'm assuming we have. You have a translator. We have a translator. I'm assuming we have a translator. So what are you going to talk about? So, so Genghis Khan, a translator, and then what's your third? No, he's <laughs> got a translator. Me. The translator comes with Genghis Khan. <laughs> That's two people. Huh? That's two people. No, it's it's just it's. Okay, no, I'm just fucking with him. Let's go. Okay, so Genghis Khan. I'm assuming I can speak his language. Yeah, don't. I, we already know the Rock's coming. So the Rock now. Who? No, Rock's out now. He fucking. Yeah, he's out now. He shit oh. the bed. Paul, Paul's yeah. burning all his clothes. Well, I'm not burning. I'm just not going to wear them anymore. No because the Rock, the Rock, bowed to the fucking woke crowd and and didn't back up Joe Rogan. Yeah, I withdrew his support. He didn't. It's a shame. It's a shame. I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah, that is a fucking shame. Yeah, I think Rogan said some shit. Rogan apologized for it. Yeah, and that's the fucking end of it. Yep. Yeah. And more, more importantly, just so we, since we're touching on it real quick. I think people should just realize that whatever he said, he said a long time ago, nobody said anything about it. And they're only saying it now because they're using yeah. this to For an agenda. get yeah. rid of him. But he also, the yeah. things that they, they compiled together that they said, he said, he also, he, the, the context in which he said some of the things he was talking and That's quoting. Right. Things. That's yeah. Right. They made Absolutely. it. But, and, and this was, I, and since we're touching on this, cause I, I would talk about this in my live feed this morning. Yep. This whole fucking past couple years, has been about bringing people together and 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 not segregating people and and having you know LGBTQ two and the BLM and whatever yada yada and, and so now we're we're doing we're we're trying to come together as a culture but now we're segregating racism and saying well this racist word is the worst out of them all and I'm like they're all fucking bad so well, stop saying this one's the worst because they're all and to me it, a racist word is racist across the board there's no well, that's worse or, or less they're all here. That's a problem, but the other problem is they're canceling people that they're canceling. They want to cancel him because he said it, but they're not canceling other people that have said it that are part of their side. Yeah. Like, like Joe Biden used it in context right. and repeating somebody else's language, yeah. just like Joe Rogan did. Joe Rogan did, but but yeah. Joe Biden has no. There's no backlash. There's no issue with him saying it. So I'm like, yeah. just be consistent. Either yeah. either nobody can fucking say it at all. Everybody gets can or everybody gets canceled that says it, or everybody has free speech and can say what they want. If Joe, uh, I just this is the way I see it. But see, and that argument becomes well, then th they use it as a term of endearment too. No, no, no. So this is this is my whole point about everything. People who actually watch Rogan know he's not a racist. Yes. And the reason I believe in free speech is because if he actually was a racist, if he was saying things in racist terms, he wouldn't have 11 million followers or 11 million people watching each podcast. Right. So it's like the only people that are screaming about this are people that don't watch the show, don't know what he's about, you know, they're and they're just, bandwagon. and they, and they're jumping yeah. on, they're jumping on a few words they've heard or a few headlines they've heard. And look, I'm not saying what he, what he said is okay. Maybe if he, people don't think he should say it, he shouldn't say it, but I don't believe in canceling. Yeah. And he, he put out a, he put out an apology. Um, Spotify removed those podcasts from the platform. 
That's the end of it. It should be the end of it. But it's, let's all, let's but all it's not enough. Them. It's not enough for them. They want them gone. But this is what I'm saying is at some point, except, apologies have to be acceptable. If, yeah, somebody, but, if, somebody, if somebody says, like, look, we do this podcast, right? Let's say somebody came to me in 10 fucking years and they're like, hey, man, you said this shit back then that really fucking is wrong or whatever. And let's say in 10 years, I've grown as a person. Mm-hmm. I'm not 40 now. Now I'm 50. Because if you look at me when I was 30, I'm a far different person now than when I was 30. So if all of a sudden I'm 50 and I look back at that podcast, somebody shows me a clip and I'm like, look, man, I was starting out. I was just trying to be funny. I said something I shouldn't have. I'm really sorry. <clears throat> that should be the end of it. Yeah. I've apologized. I said it was wrong. You can't crucify somebody for something they said 10 fucking years ago. No, but, uh, but, I'm saying, to, uh, but what I'm saying thing. is even, but I'm saying is even if you could, the people change. And if he realizes yeah. now that maybe he shouldn't have said it and he's actually sorry. And I watched his statement and looked genuinely sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Then we should all be able to be like, okay, man, like he did something he shouldn't have done. He said, sorry, let's all move on. Remember, remember when they went after Kevin Hurt, when he said something yeah, about his son, that's a, another good example. And he said, sorry. And they wouldn't, it wasn't enough. They just had to cancel him. And I don't, I don't I mean, get that. You don't want a word being used. You got to, you got to get rid of the word across all platforms. But I think, guy, I think what we're saying, but we're saying two different things. So you're, no, making I, a point, I get what you're yeah. saying. I get what yeah. You're, you're saying. making a point of the word. I think that's yeah. a totally different debate. Yeah. that I don't really want to have. If people don't, if people are offended by it, they don't want it used. Cool. I'm cool with that. If somebody said it and they, then they, they feel bad for it and they apologize. Okay. What yeah. Is, what else, yeah. Now we have to punish this person for the rest of their fucking life. Right. Like, what, else, the fuck, what else do you want from them? What the fuck are we doing here? Like so yeah. you're, saying if he, you're saying if he did it today, it'd be different. I'm saying if somebody says something, right. It doesn't matter if it's 10 years ago or five minutes ago. Okay. Let's say, let's say I said something about transvestites. Or is it, you can't even say that anymore, can you? Let's yeah, say I said something I about transgender. So whatever, whatever the word is supposed to be, or, or gays or lesbians or whatever. Let's say I, like, I got a message from, I got a message on my DMs about the last episode and somebody said, you're homophobic. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. And I said, I told a story about not wanting to be touched. I don't care if it's a woman or a man touching me. I don't like being touched by people I don't know. That doesn't make me fucking homophobic. I don't want to be standing in a grocery store and have people fucking some come touch me, grab my arm. Don't touch me. I don't like that. Agreed. So that doesn't make me homophobic. It just, I don't no. want to be, I don't want to be touched. So it's like, but if somebody had, if I did say something and it was truly offensive, I would be like, Hey man, I'm, you have the right to say, I'm sorry. Right. I'd be like, I'm sorry. Like sometimes we get carried away in a podcast. Things go, you know, yeah. maybe they get carried out of hand and I, and I, maybe I shouldn't have said that. He didn't mean to offend them, but if he did, you apologize. And I think that should be the end of it. Like people can be genuinely sorry. It's yeah. promise people think no, like every is like Joe Rogan pointing the finger at Joe Rogan. I'm like every one of you motherfuckers pointing the finger have all done the same goddamn things. So yeah, so. no well, shit. This is the other thing we've talked about in social media. In the social media world, everybody lives in a fucking glass house. Mm-hmm. They're all they're all riding high on their fucking horses, but guarantee if you dig into people's past, they've all done dumb shit or said dumb shit. Mm-hmm. And it just, everybody said the same word to point at the finger for Joe Rogan that he said. Everyone, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't so, care who they fucking are. Anyway, Justin, do you have anything to say about it before we go away? No, unfortunately, I just think it's it's more about an agenda and silencing somebody, hundred percent, yeah. allowing opposing viewpoints to be you know spoken and discussed. Yeah. I wonder. On I, wonder platform. I wonder this if there's if there's maybe I should have somebody on you know one of our black friends to ask if they're using race as an agenda. Wouldn't that offend you as? A black person because you'd be like they don't really care about the word mm-hmm. right they're just they're just using that to make me hate that person mm-hmm. yeah. so wouldn't you feel like you were being tricked in a way if you could see that not that not that he should be allowed to say it he apologized and all that but i'm like wouldn't that part of it bother you that mm-hmm. like it's being used to make you angry to, to right. serve a purpose that they want i think a lot of people see that maybe not enough but a lot of people do see that yeah. not just with this particular issue but any you know, issue that, you know, being pushed. Yeah. I just wonder if more people are too angry to see that though. Right. Cause yeah. Are, well, that's what media is good at, but no, but people are genuinely angry about him saying it. So what I'm saying is maybe, maybe people are too angry to see that that's kind of what's happening. People right. But they're drumming up the anger. People like people need somebody to blame for something. So they're going to point the finger and the prop and it, it's just, if everybody just was a realist and stepped back, we we're all in the same boat. So we all have done things that we are sorry for. And it's just ridiculous that it's come to a point where somebody can't say they're truly sorry and just let it go. You know what I thought was interesting, Fulad? Uh, Caitlyn Jenner came out and 
back Joe Rogan and criticize The Rock for saying that. It was like, hey man, like you said oh, stuff too. What did too. The Rock say? He so kind of like took back his um his support of Rogan like in a, after that second video came video? out. Yeah, no, he did yeah. a tweet. It was a tweet. Oh, tweet. I'm sorry. But like, Caitlyn Jenner came out and said something like, "Hey, Rock, like you said stuff too, man." Yeah, and I thought that because, was kind of cool. Because the twat, the, the twat. <laughs> <laughs> the, rock, the rock, the rock. No, not you. The Rock has said stuff about the transgender. Yeah, whether what season the the community. Or not. Sorry? You can't use trans. But what's the word besides transvestite? I don't think you can use transvestite anymore. I think it's what's transgender. Think transgender. It's transgender. I think. Yeah. Transvestite so, is derogatory. I think so. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what's right. No, I think pedophile. there's a difference. That was a pedophile now. What? The diddler. You can't say pedophile anymore. Map. What do you say? What? Diddler. Map. What's map? Um, a minor attracted. Person. Oh my god! Oh, I'm not saying that. Oh god! Wait, see, I, I'm look it up. I'm, I don't really? I believe you. I think I saw something about that. Oh my god, look it up. So, like, who's this according to? The, you can't hurt pedophiles. <laughs> uh, this, this fucking world is just insane. It is. What does MAP stand for? That's not going to work. You need to be like MAP <laughs> pedophiles. <laughs> It's like <laughs> it's like a, a diagram of the area of land. <laughs> be, like, be like, be like, watch, watch the alternative. What is a map? No, what, acronym. What, what is what the, is the acronym? Pedo- pedo- this pedophile. map stands for masquerading asshole pedophile. <laughs> That's what Urban Dictionary says. Yeah, Urban Dictionary says that. Yeah, guy, you're full of shit. Okay, map is here. Wait, I think I got it. Thank you. Rebranding pedophiles as map cannot. Ma- okay. Thank you. Minor okay. attracted persons. Do you know what map is? I just found out in the morning, friends. Do you know map? Blah blah blah. It's not a geological survey. Yeah, it's minor attracted persons, is what it says. What the fuck? Like, is it offensive to call somebody diddles kids a pedophile? Yeah, how wild is that? Jesus Christ! It's like it's it, it's like offensive to call a murderer a murderer. Yeah. Like what? Well, hey, these people have feelings too. Yeah, apparently they do. Yeah. Just not little kids' feelings. Yeah, you're the wrong ones. It's the map. At, wait, map attempts to soften the idea of pedophilia by insisting it's not wrong if there is no contact. What? Oh my god! What? So if you think about banging a kid, you're you're not a pedophile. So if you're no, sitting in a, just... if you're sitting in a park and you're Checking watching a kid, kid. play right. swings, and all you're right. thinking about is fucking that kid, that's not wrong. <laughs> what the what, fuck? What, what website is that on? This is uh, gaystarnews.com. Oh, wow. Well. That's fucked up, man. I don't, you know what? That is fucked up. I'm all, I'm all for being woke, but that's just right, fucking, we, that's a breach need, too far. We need a new question. Yeah, yeah. let's move on. From can, we end, we, can we end with something better? Yeah. yeah. See, well, it's your fault you brought up the map, people. <laughs> guy, had to, guy had to go there. <laughs> he just got... <laughs> yeah, he just got... <laughs> uh... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Weirdest place. To... No, I don't want to do that one. <laughs> you know, it's about sex. If it's just stop. <laughs> Have you ever experienced a show where you clearly won and the second place showed poor sportsmanship? No. I did. What? I didn't clearly win, though. What show? Uh, one of my first shows ever. I told you the story. Go ahead. Um, oh, I did too, actually. Yeah, go on. Go ahead. Um, I probably, you know, looking back on it, I don't know whether I should have won or not. It was one of my first shows. I was like 19 years old. And this guy in the show was like way bigger than me, but he had a distended belly really bad. Yeah. And uh, the judges gave me the overall. This guy, he, he was lost pissed. It? Yeah, he lost it. I, you don't remember the story for it? I don't want to say any names. Uh, no, I, I don't remember the story, but remember the guy who took uh, third or second or third at my first show? You judged it. Yes. Remember, remember Peter Molnar? Peter Moore, yes. if, if you're watching, <laughs> I want apology. <laughs> he, he's pro now. He took no, he's not. You're gonna say that. Did you train him afterwards? No. What oh, okay, someone different. Sorry. Pro. I beat I won the show. And apparently he took his trophy and threw it in the garbage backstage. He's fucking pissed. He's fucking dead. Really? <laughs> That's like, oh I had a good God. laugh about it. Um, <laughs> I know a pro that got mad at me not winning, but I beat him and he got furious. I think I remember the story. You remember World Harris, Will? Oh, he, yeah, Will. Yeah. So I beat Will Harris. I took third. He took fourth at the Dallas Europa in 2008. And he wrote about, he did an interview and they wrote about it in Flex. 
He's like, how does the guy, can't even pronounce his name? How does he beat me? Blah, blah, blah. Like, He's oh, got a better physique. I'm like, what does that mean? I'm like, <laughs> so my name is impronounceable. So that means I can't yeah. beat. Like, it makes no fucking it's sense. It's a physique show. Yeah, I know. That's when, you're, that's when you're like real, really reaching for something to be mad about. Yeah. yeah. Fucking name. It doesn't have a nice name. <laughs> okay. We'll do one more. That was, that was a good one. Uh, these are really, really bodybuilding centered. I wonder why. No, fuck that. We don't want to talk about bodybuilding. <laughs> um, why don't they do face-offs at the Olympia? Because it's not a boxing match. Oh, what? <laughs> um, thoughts on... Nope. If you could relive any year of your life, which would it be and why? That's a we already did this. Oh, we already did thousand. No, we didn't. Uh, I think me, You've you, been on like two podcasts. How do you know we've done it? I've been on like five, <laughs> dude. What do you mean we've done? We did it with Roman, didn't we? Because yeah, I, we I think we did it with Roman and, and Ben. But either way, we didn't do it here, but I've we've done this before. All right, you and I have done it today. Fuck man, I just found a question. Why you gotta fucking ruin it? <laughs> I hate that question. All right, why? I'm just kidding. I don't have. I don't <laughs> uh, Listen, big dick Shire, just take it easy. <laughs> BDS. Um. Uh. If nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Nope. I hope your guy makes a thing of this. Do you think you were treated differently in any way because you are so heavily muscled? Yeah. Of course. He's talking to you. Like at any time in your life? Yeah. 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 Next now. question. Next question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hate you guys today, man. <laughs> Did Paul ever get his nipple pierced? No. Oh, not yet. Yeah, keep it up. Or you're gonna be up the podcast the next one. If you're not, I don't see a fucking iron through that. Yeah, difference. guy said you should never be allowed back on again. So yeah, if you don't it. follow through with a fucking punishment, you're off. Like just like fucking impractical jokers, follow through your app, bro. I've been waiting for foot. Just you go without me. You want him to fucking film it? You you do want it to come Columbus. With me. Just go without tomorrow. Me. It's fine. Tomorrow. Just go without me. I gotta work tomorrow. Thursday, I can do. it. <laughs> Bye. Thursday, film it, please. <laughs> okay, Thursday, we're going. I'll make a. I'll make an appointment. You're not gonna make an appointment. I'm gonna make an appointment tomorrow. No, I gotta work tomorrow. Yeah, no, I'm gonna make the appointment tomorrow for Thursday. Oh, for Thursday. Okay. If you do a Thursday, I'll do a Thursday. Just one nipple, the way, not both. No, just one, buddy. Okay. How long I gotta keep it for what again? Four weeks? Yeah, a month. Ah, go to now, Florida. Make him wait till summertime. So Ed, why do no. NSP and Ian Boyer hate each other? Why do they hate each other? Nick, Nick Strength and Power and Ian. Do they hate each other? I don't know anything about that. Know. Who does? Nick Strength and Power and Ian. Yeah, next question. It. Nobody knows what the fuck the hell. I've never heard anything about that. Uh, what do you guys think about people calling the way bodybuilders eat an eating disorder? I never heard that either. I've never heard that. Oh, I never heard that. You've never heard that? I've heard that. Really? I heard the body dysmorphia stuff. It's definitely an eating disorder. It's like we're fat one minute and we're fucking shredded the next. Yeah, but you're eating for a purpose. Yeah, it's not a disorder. I know, but sometimes it carries on after. The oh, it could turn into that. I think for a lot of females, it has. It can create I, bad relationships. I think it's, food. I think it's more for... I've seen it happen more with women. Yeah. But okay. Last question. So there's this girl perfect in every way. She's cute, funny, supportive, fit, etc. But every time you make any physical contact, she lets one rip. I'm talking a juice loud, a juicy loud one. Make it or break it. Break it. Break it. Come on. A fart. Every time well, you love no. Justin, you love farts. I love farts, dude. <laughs> Does it stink? <laughs> So you would stick you'd stay with her. It, if, if, if she was absolutely perfect in every way, but yeah. when we had sex, every time you touched her, she farted. So wait, wait, yeah. like, even one touch, fart touch, or touch a her. series of farts yeah. every time we touch. Oh, so wait, if you touched her and so I could, I could make her fart like this, <laughs> like every time I touch her, it'd, she's farting. It'd be fun, it'd be funny as hell. <laughs> well, you couldn't take her anywhere though. <laughs> No, I wouldn't want to be with somebody every time. Like, if you're imagine walking down the street and put your arm around her, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, you, you take her to a restaurant. Parents. This is my, yeah, I just wouldn't touch her. So, what I touch her at home only. What about when you're banging and you're, you're coming? No, at out. home, I don't care. Every right? time you're beating cheeks, <laughs> it'd be hilarious, though. <laughs> yeah, I'd be giggling. This is the worst time. podcast ever. I don't know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to send okay. a text. I don't know what I'm going to post that. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. We'll do another one. Would you rather never taste anything for the rest of your life or be blind? 
Never, never chased anything. Never yeah, chased I'm anything. Yeah, I want my sight. That's a horrible one. Yeah. You, you asked it. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was going to be good. This girl, this is a horrible question. I'm not going to say her name, but geez. Uh, would you rather, this is another bad one. Would you rather lose your sight or lose your memories? Memory. Fuck. I would, I would rather lose my sight. Really? Wow. Your memory? Oh, you forget your entire childhood, your parents, your family. I don't want to lose my sight. You're not going to make any new ones. I can't see shit. Yeah, you can, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't want I don't to forget lose my sight anyways. for anything. So right now you're going to wake up in your house and, and look at your wife and go, who are you? It doesn't say you're not going to remember. Like, yeah. It's not like 50 first dates. Well, what do you, yeah, yeah, if it's all your memories. <laughs> no, it's just saying like. Yeah, he's right. Like yeah, you're going to you're going to retain, you know. It didn't say you lose your memory, period. He's saying your memories from the past. No, you're. You're modifying the question. Okay, yeah. I'm modifying the question. Yeah. yeah. You're going to yeah, wake up tomorrow and have no fucking clue what bodybuilding is. Do what I get to start new was. ones when I wake up? Well, yeah, you can just start. <laughs> yeah, but do, yeah, they, gotta... do they stay though? Yeah, so you just lose past. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You just, yeah. So moving forward. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, See, me too. Listen, I, t- I told you. Yeah. I'll make new ones. Yeah. yeah. I guess people get amnesia and, and still have yeah. kick ass lives. Just take a lot of pictures. Dude, I don't want to be blind, man. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fucking terrible. Paul. Yeah, Paul's right. Paul's right. Paul's right. I'll, take a lot of pictures, yeah. I'll, I'll go on Google. I'll type my name in, and I'll remember everything. Yeah. Because I can but, see it. Oh, I forget everything, anyways. I just you know his legs were bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to be awesome. <laughs> Never. 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 <laughs> The comments say, "Listen, your legs have to be bigger in diameter because you're five foot three. <laughs> There's not more muscle there." Uh, listen, it's not what the fans say. Listen, if we're talking about today, still no, but definitely not <laughs> back in the day. Absolutely, definitely today. not back in the day. Absolutely today and back in the day. Definitely not Fine. back in the day and probably not today. Definitely today and most likely back in the day. Probably not today. Definitely not. Without a doubt, today even for sure. <laughs> One hundred percent. Just like Justin's had a big back dick, then. my legs were bigger than yours. Hundred percent. Justin's oh. penis is bigger than your quads. I think you say my nose. We should. Uh... Paul's what? nose. That's what my legs used to look like. Paul's nose. <laughs> we should do a little pose down at the Arnold's, and I'll be the judge. Well, I'm forty-three years old now. <laughs> so with, my, with my dick and and your like. Yeah. <laughs> My dick, my nose, your dick. Put your nose next to his dick. Guys, quads. Put your nose next to his dick. We'll take a picture. And then your and your legs too. What's bigger? (laughs) I can't figure out a good last question. We're good. We're good. It's Paul's wife's falling asleep, and he wants to try to get laid tonight. Uh, I think it happened. Justin is ten thirty. No, fuck. Outside of the zone. Outside of the zone. Okay, last question. Oh, you've got a good one. Look at him. Oh, I lost it. Oh God. Do you not remember it? No, because I hit the thing and it went to the very top of my list again. How do you suck that bad? It was just my fucking hand touched the thing. Fuck off. Fuck off. Okay, I got it. I found it. Good, yay. Would you rather date the hottest person in the world but not allowed to have sex with them or date an ugly person that you can have sex with? We already we asked, just you asked this. this. <laughs> <laughs> Remember because we landed, we agreed on blowjobs. <laughs> did we? Is that what we did? Yeah, I remember I said Wait. blowjob and you were like, yes, you're right. Wait, you, pick, the loophole. you picked Would a you? hot girl blowjobs? Yeah, if you can't touch her, so I said I'd give her to get a blowjob. That still doesn't count. You agree, you agree, you didn't on the last podcast. It was the last podcast we had to had this wear, you have to wear a condom then. Oh. Oh. That takes all the fun away now. You have to. Or else she's touching you. You can't touch yeah. her. You can't touch her. What I'll if take the ugly girl? Huh? What if we put a caveat in and she farts when you touch her? <laughs> <There you go. laughs> okay, fine. Can we do? Well, this is the last one. I got one. Fine. Okay, let's do it. Would you rather never have sex again or never leave the house ever again? Oh God! Never leave the house, probably. Really? Never going to leave. You the have house? to choose one. Yeah. So, no sex. Yeah. You leave the house. No, I'm going to leave, leave the house. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never going to have like sex again, Paul. Sorry, you never have sex again. It's not that, it's not that you're plentiful. You're limited now. as is. Um, yeah, Paul, you're as plentiful as it is right now. Paul, 
Paul is going to be the moodiest motherfucker on earth if he never has sex. With <laughs> Listen, I know when Paul's had sex without him telling you. It's yeah, he's like yeah. he's like you his fucking moods. his moods are like this with sex. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they are. What about mouth sex? What do you mean? No, it says sex altogether. Low jobs. No. Uh, I think we're all leaving the house. Oh no, Floyd! It was jerking off in her face. That's what it was. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I would jerk off in her face. Hundred percent for that. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. That's Over funny. banging an ugly girl every day. No, no, we were. Oh, talking instead about... of touching her, we yeah. jerked. Oh, her. yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, no, but this doesn't, doesn't, doesn't pertain to this question though. Oh, that's a good idea. Though. Yeah, so you leave well, the house like, and you just come on in your face. Sign me up. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of All like right. you, know. you know what? I'm hungry. I think Justin's. Hungry. Yeah, yeah, I'm hungry. It's time to eat. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. Peace. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>